Spencer back's really going to help him. Should oh, help him. Very much so. Should help him. Oh, you know, he's got a rep. Well. All right, here we go. Dallas starts the play. Tattoo back to Smith. Smith long ball down to the left corner. Spencer down there trying to protect the wall from Beto. Double team gets it up the near boards for Precky. Precky across the floor. Claudio settles it over there, tries to get around Tattoo and can't. Tattoo and Claudio going for the ball along the boards. Kicked away from behind him by Claudio. Tattoo and the Dallas sidekicks control. Now Beto kicks it into the right corner. Fernando Covillo over there. Fernando plays the ball back to Slobo. He got in behind Tattoo and blocked him from the ball. Slobo throws it up to Claudio de Oliveira. Double team marked up tightly. Plays it back in his own zone to Fernando Covillo. Covillo down the right side. Long ball for Thompson to see him. In the Dallas end. Tomo has the ball there. As Precky on the far side of the field didn't see him. Precky had some space. Plays it off the boards back to Spetzer. Who's back in action after missing a couple of games with a grind injury. Claudio triple team gets the ball over to Fernando Clavillo on the left side. Clavillo shoots and it's blocked right in front of the goal. Kicked out of play by Uramovic. As Fernando had a lot of space on the left side spot. Plays it back to Precky. Precky fakes a shot one way. Gives it off to Claudio. Shoots and just misses by about... A foot and a half on the right side. Schmetzer down to the left corner. Nobody there for the star. Schmetzer playing it down there. Nobody back there. So Dallas gets the loose ball. Tattoo plays it up to Uremovich. Uremovich across the floor of the right side for Kevin Smith. Smith stops the ball there. Plays it back to his own red line to Mike Powers. Or to Troy Snyder, rather. Down into the deep corner in the St. Louis end. Fernando Covillo picks it up in the corner. Covillo down there keeping the ball away from Tattoo. Plays it off the boards up to... Godfrey Ingram. Ingram sends it back into his own zone to Mark Fredrickson. Fredrickson up the left side of Claudio to Ingram. Ingram leaves it for Claudio. Claudio loses the ball as he's double teamed. It's picked up by Dolly. Dolly into Tattoo. Just inside the red line left side. Tattoo double teamed over there. Tattoo is really lethal when he gets some space. But it's still on the way by Mark Fredrickson to Claudio de Oliveira. Gives a good ball to Thompson to see in right side. It's two on three. Tomo into the St. Dallas end. He's run off the ball from behind. Troy Snyder caught him from behind and kicked it away from him before he could pull the trigger. The ball was sent out so quickly, Ron, that Thompson, you see, and went forward immediately. Consequently, he had no teammates to support him, and that's what happened. And he didn't know that Snyder was coming up from behind him. He didn't get any help in that regard from his teammates. Dallas has the ball in their own end. Side kicks won the Western Division last year. Long ball down to the red line. Duran there to intercept. Duran muscles his way through the boards on the left side, and he is obstructed on the far side, so it's a foul against Dallas. And the Storm will have a free kick near the touchline right in the middle of the field. Daryl Durant muscling on the boards. That's a very apt description because he's very proficient going forward with the ball at his feet. And in a tight situation, he makes the best of that with his strength. He just runs through people. That's exactly right. He does. There's no finesse involved. <laughs> Up to Donigan. Donigan back to Durant right at the penalty box area. Duran across the floor down to the corner. Turned for Terry Brown. He doesn't get it, but Ingram picks it up, sends it into the corner for Brown. Brown wins the ball down there nicely. Brown off the backboards for Godfrey Ingram. Ingram is double teamed as the ball knocked away from him. Brown intercepts. Brown down to Ingram. D down deep. Ingram across. He had Donigan in the box, but the pass was behind him. Now here is Dallas breaking out on a counterattack. It's two on four. On the right side is Carrera. Marcio Carrera has a knocked away from behind. Picked up by Donigan. Donigan comes back the other way. Storm, though, changing some players. So Donigan slows it up. Mark Fredrickson, the St. Louis, and on the left side. Gives it to Precky at the red line at the top of the Dallas zone. Precky dances his way into the zone. Precky drop pass for Fredrickson. Freddy back to Daryl Duran. Duran to Donigan. Donigan tried to give and go with Duran. And unfortunately, just didn't get enough of it. He was bumped off the ball. Had he been able to put a little pace on it, Duran might have been able to get to a ball. Exactly right, Ron. It would have worked nicely because Duran did his job to find the open man. A better pass from Donegan on the 1-2 would have resulted in a shot on goal. Tattoo down to the corner with Duran marking him up. Tattoo, the second leading scorer in the league. He had 15 points against the Storm last year, but they really played him pretty well. He only had five goals. Now here's a handball called against St. Louis down deep in their own zone. So it'll be a very dangerous free kick for the sidekicks about 10 feet from the end board to the right side of the box with 11-10 left here in the first quarter of play. Early on, it's been both teams pretty much going back and forth. No one team has kept possession of the ball for any great length of time. Consequently, it's been back and forth. Bruno Ferretti, a 6-2 midfielder out of Brazil, is on the floor for the sidekicks. They will have this dangerous free kick in the 
defenders have to back up 15 feet from the ball. The new rule this year, and that really opened some space. Here is Freddy with a shot, and Slobo makes the save. Freddy got that ball one time, and then Slobo made a big save. Brecky back the other way, three on three. Brecky, good ball on the left side for Thompson. You see it. He shoots from a bad angle. Loose ball to the box, knocked to the backboards by Beto, and then picked up by Joe Papaleo, the keeper tonight for the Dallas sidekicks. That was a great save by Ilyevsky because he punched it clear far enough so that the Storm could start an immediate counterattack. Here's another steal as Precky picks up the ball. Precky down the right side. It's three on two. He's got Terry Brown with a good run. Precky top of the arc tries to shoot, and that's blocked by Mike Powers. Powers gets it outside the line. Kicked back in by Greg Muir. Once again outside. Muir kicks it back in again, and now Thompson, you see him, takes down one of the, what are they calling here? They're Oh, uh, they're just whistling the foul. Looked right. like he had a card in his hand. What it was was his whistle. Foul on Thompson, you see him. He was so demonstrative with it, it almost <laughs> looked like he had pulled out a card. Romano Richel and S.E. Bahamas, the referees for tonight's game here at the arena. Greg Muir, the rookie, intercepts the ball at his red line, chests it down nicely to the boards, off the boards of Thompson, you see him, and plays it back to Clavillo. Clavillo at his own red line. Off to Greg Muir, his defensive teammate and a rookie, who's played pretty well here in the early going. Up the middle of the floor, Slobo kicks it to Terry Brown. Brown back to Cleville. Cleville left side to Greg Muir. Muir fakes one way and then stops. He faked Dolly. Storm having a little trouble clearing it out of their own zone. Cleville will get it out. Long ball down to the Dallas end for Donegan. Donegan heads into the air. One time. Oh, he missed the ball. Donegan a second time is pushed down. Donegan had two opportunities. The first time he missed it, he fanned on the ball. The second time he didn't get much on it as he and Papaleo went down. Now here's Tattoo back the other way. Watch it here. Tattoo shoots and scores. Tattoo hit it off the outside or the inside of the left post. Just caught the inside of the post and Dallas has taken a 1-0 lead after the Storm just missed a great opportunity at the other end. Storm, as you just pointed out, missed a goal and goal scoring opportunity. The Dallas sidekicks regain possession. They immediately go forward at the width, and that was the key. Tattoo and was enabled, therefore, to get free from the defender. Then he was one-on-one -on -one with the last man back, and that was Fernando Calvijo. And whenever he's going along with 49 assists, uh, easily the leading scorer in the league, and he garnered most valuable player honors as a result. So Tattoo puts Dallas in front after Dan Dunning into the star missed a great opportunity. Now back, here's Dallas. Here's a shot off the post, off the crossbar, rather, by... Pedro De Brito as he had space on the left side and hammered one, hit the crossbar. Star back, ball intercepted by De Brito at midfield. Feeds it off to Dolly. Dolly across the midfield line, marked up closely by Schmetzer, has to peel back and send the ball back near his own red line. Marcelo Carrera has it for Dallas to Smith. Smith into the St. Louis zone for Beto. Beto marked up by Duran, knocked off the ball by Duran, picked up by Terry Brown, and Brown kicks it back to Slobo. Slobo looking for somebody to counterattack. Nobody going up the floor, so he rolls the ball to his defender, Darrell Duran, with 8.50 left here in the first quarter of play. Down the right side, Claudio. Claudio plays it back to Precky. Precky inside the red line to the top of the arc. Precky still has the ball, has it knocked away from him as he waited a little too long. Hustles over, gets it back, off the board to Duran. Duran to Schmetzer. Schmetzer to Claudio, and Claudio is knocked down to the far side by Mike Uremovich. Claudio did a little bit of acting there, but he was hit. So the Storm will have a free kick from just inside the red line on the touch line of the left side. When Precky has this ball outside the penalty area and draws two or three people, his teammates have to be moving into open spaces. They're not right now. They're just standing, and consequently, it makes it difficult for him to find somebody in an open position. Precky approaches the red line to Donegan, tried to give it back to Precky, but the pass did not find the mark, and it's kicked down the floor by Dallas. Slobo off his mark. Kicks it over to Schmetzer. Schmetzer with some pressure. Marcelo Carrera pressures him. Gives it up to Duran. Back to Schmetzer in the St. Louis zone. Storm down 1 0 with 8 11 remaining here in the first quarter of play. Dallas really not allowing the Storm an opportunity to get the ball to their own backfield. And it's really paying dividends for them. And it sure is cutting down the counterattack possibly. Precky has it just outside the red line. Pedo is all over him. Precky off to Claudio. It's unusual to see Claudio and Precky on the floor at the same time. Now Donegan plays it back to Schmetzer, who's under some pressure and sends it all the way back down to Slobo. Ilyevsky, the 41-year-old keeper, way up over the red line, way up to the Storm logo, kicks it down to Donegan. 
He chests it down, gives it off to Claudio on the left side. Claudio being muscle on the boards, wins the ball nicely, loses it, gets it back to Donigan. Donigan under some traffic to Precky. Precky shoots. Oh, and he just missed on the left side. Donigan with a rebound, pushes into the corner. Claudio is bumped there. Claudio thought he was fouled. The ball comes back to Precky at the red line. Precky. Tries to dance around Smith. Does, turns, and fires from a tough angle. And that's blocked by Beto. Precky gets the ball back at the red line. Precky with another shot. Papaleo the save on a diving save as that ball was headed for the upper left corner. Precky hammers it from the red line. He can shoot as hard as... It's Fredrickson off the boards for Godfrey Ingram. Ingram back to Fredrickson outside the red line. Plays the ball over to Claudio, middle of the floor. Claudio de Oliveira to Fernando Covillo. Pavillo back to Claudio as neither one of them could get in. Dallas playing some pretty good pressure defense here. Thompson, you see, and off to Godfrey. Back to Fernando Clavillo at the red line. Clavillo double teamed, loses it, but ball goes right to Claudio. Claudio de Oliveira approaches the red line on the dribble, gives it down to the right corner for Thompson. You see it off the backboards. Ball loose in the box, but picked off there by Tattoo, and Tattoo is knocked down to the play, loses the ball. Claudio, uh, Fernando Clavillo picks it up to Fredrickson down to the corner of Ingram. Ingram with a cross, a weak cross by Godfrey. Didn't get much on it. And Papaleo came out, intercepted it, and picked it up. Papaleo from the top of his box kicks it to midfield and kicks it right into the St. Louis bench. So it'll be a kick in for the Storm right in front of their bench down in front of us. Godfrey Papaleo starts this play as he kicks it in from in front of the bench. Back to Slobo. Slobo to Clavillo. Fernando Clavillo with Dolly on him. Kicks it down to the St. Louis or Dallas red line and it's kicked off the floor by Wes McLeod. McLeod, a Canadian out of Vancouver, has nine block shots on the season. It's another kick in for the Storm. Clavillo kicks it down to the corner. Thompson, you see in there in the Dallas and it kicked away from him. Tomo gets it back to Fredrickson. Fredrickson back down along the boards of Terry Brown. Thompson, you see, and they both got mixed up together. Here's Claudio, or rather uh, Godfrey Ingram on a on a ball for Mark Fredrickson. He just tried to let it go through and kind of flick it with his heel and just went wide. Now the ball is kicked off the floor by Dallas again, so it'll be a kick in on the far side in front of the penalty box for the Storm. That was nicely done by Godfrey Ingram. Good ball in deep from Mark Fredrickson. He just flicked it with the outside of his foot and just narrowly missed going in the inside post. Yeah, sometimes the target man doesn't stop his free kick from the touch line. But Donegan, Donegan at the red line off to Terry Brown. Brown Back to Mark Fredrickson. The ball went past him, and he's got to go all the way back to his own red line to pick it up to Slobo. Slobo one times it, chops it in the air, volleys in the air, intended for Brown. Brown couldn't get it. Powers kicks it to the St. Louis red line. Headed down by Fredrickson. Fredrickson to Donigan. Oh, Donigan tried to play it over the top of Uremovich, and Uremovich hit him right in the face. If he'd have gotten over the top of him, he'd have been one on one with a keeper. Now it's Beto for Dallas. Beto to the St. Louis red line. Has the ball marked up by Precky. Gets rid of it, kicks it off the boards, back to Mike Powers. Powers to Yeremovich. Yeremovich, a Yugoslavian with a Canadian citizenship. Tattoo at the red line. Fredrickson on him. Not giving him room to breathe. Dallas kicks it into the right corner, into the St. Louis zone. Off the boards, Fredrickson heads the ball down to Precky. Precky double teamed, kicks it across dangerously in his own end to Durant. Duran over there trying to keep the ball away from Pato. Does, turns, and sends it back to Slobo. Ilyevsky throws it up the right side for Donigan. Donigan off the boards, loses it. Collision over there, picked up by Terry Brown. Then he lost it, and here comes Tattoo with it. Tattoo to the St. Louis red line. Duran on him, around Duran. Tattoo taken down, and a foul call on Duran. So it'll be a free kick for Dallas just to the top of the, the penalty area on the right side. Tattoo... Kind of wanted a card there. Kind of <laughs> wanted a penalty. And that's where he's really dangerous, when he has some open field in which to run. When he goes right at that last defender, beats him, then he has some open space. That's when he's really, really dangerous. 4.32 left in the first quarter of play. It'll be a free kick for the sidekicks, clad in their green pants and white shirts tonight. Their traveling uniforms. Tattoo and McLeod have a little conversation about how to play this. Tattoo will take this free kick. Will he kick it right on? Yes, he does. Oh, and it just deflects wide. Looks like Fernando Clavillo may have gotten a little piece of it. Ball kicked back to Wes McLeod at the midfield line near the kickoff spot down the right side along the boards. Ball comes off the boards and won by Duran nicely. Back to Slobo. Slobo throws it up to Precky at his own red line, but he's covered very quickly by Smith. Kicks it across the floor to Duran. Duran to Fernando Clavillo. 
Covillo in his own zone, long ball down for Donigan. Donigan tried to play it back to Claudio de Oliveira, who didn't anticipate that ball well at all, and Dallas steals it. Here comes Dallas down the right side. It's Pedro Debrito. Debrito slowed up by Claudio de Oliveira. Debrito still has it. Now Duran runs onto him, knocks him down, knocks him off the ball. Picked up by Covillo to Slobo. Slobo throws it up to Claudio de Oliveira in front of the penalty box on the left side. Dallas back quickly on defense. Brecky one times the ball from about 45 feet out and hit it up and out of play. Time for a Friday night rumble at the arena. Good evening, everybody. Ron Jacoba with Bill McDermott here at the arena on Oakland Avenue. It's the Storm and the Dallas Sidekicks. We have three minutes and 18 seconds remaining here in the first quarter of play. Dallas on a goal by tattoo leads it one nothing. Dallas has the ball at the St. Louis red line. Feeds a right side to Dolly. Dolly top of the arc. Turn shoots and hits just above the crossbar and a plexiglass. For those of you uninitiated to indoor soccer, Bill and I will explain some of the elementary rules to you as we go along here. The ball to Slobo. Slobo picks it up for St. Louis. Slobo Olievsky, the 41-year-old keeper for the Storm. He is their number one keeper now with Zoltan Toth out for at least a month with surgery on his neck and his knee. Thompson, you see, in the ball for St. Louis. Thompson to Greg Muir. Muir kicks it off the boards on the left side. Back to Godfrey Ingram, who plays it back to Slobo. Slobo has to come out of the penalty area to get it up to Terry Brown. Brown to St. Louis and back to Daryl Duran, also a St. Louis. About a half a dozen St. Louis players on the Storm roster here tonight to Greg Muir. Muir, a defender, their number one draft choice. He's out of Chicago, played at Eastern Illinois University. To Slobo. Slobo kicks it up the middle of the floor to Thompson, you see, and he cannot control it, can't settle it, but Muir gets it, gives it away. Muir gave it away to Sagardo, but picked up by Terry Brown for the Storm. Brown to the red line. Terry Brown now double team has it knocked away from behind and picked up by Troy Snyder, who plays it back to his keeper, Joe Papaleo, in goal tonight for the Dallas Sidekicks. He's out of Syracuse, New York, in his ninth year in the league, and he was the keeper of the year in the Major Indoor Soccer League last year. Here's Precky with the ball after Donegan made a steal. Off to Greg Muir. Muir to Donegan. To Precky. Precky double team. Precky knocked off the ball. Picks it back up. Precky sprints through the red line. And he's knocked out on the play. We're going to have a penalty. Penalty coming up against Troy Snyder. Snyder will go to the penalty box. Problems for the Storm. Power play unit. They will find the open people. However, they're not capitalizing on the shots that they do get. One minute and 40 seconds remaining here in the first quarter of play. Dallas leads at 1-0. Storm and indoor soccer play on the same basic dimensions as hockey. They play on the field. Uh, normally would have ice. In fact, there's ice under this. 200 feet long, 85 feet wide. The field is divided into four sections. Midfield area is about 120 feet. Well, the midfield area is 100 feet, and each, each end is 50 feet in dimensions with a red line across the top of each Offensive zone. Fernando Clavillo to Godfrey Ingram. Ingram back to Clavillo. Clavillo to Daryl Duran. Duran down to the corner to Claudio to there. Back to Duran. Duran off to Fernando Clavillo. He turns, shoots, and just misses. Hit it high and wide. Duran settles a rebound. Back left wing boards for Claudio de Oliveira. Storm on a power play to Duran. Duran double team plays it on the near boards for Fernando Clavillo. Down to the corner for Godfrey Ingram. Ingram tried to volley it back to Duran, and it's kicked out of there by Yaramovic and down the floor, and Slobo Olievsky comes up to play the ball. You talked about the Storm's woes, Ron, when they have the extra man. They've had the extra man nine different times. They've always scored twice. Claudio de Oliveira got free Ingram a shot right on, and Papaleo makes a diving save. He anticipated that well and just threw his body to the right side of the goal. Now Dallas kicks it down the floor. There is one minute and 12 seconds left in the St. Louis man advantage. Fernando Clavillo. One of the great players in this league from Uruguay up the right side to Godfrey Ingram. Ingram is from England. The Daryl Duran left side inside the red line. Down the left corner for Claudio de Oliveira. Claudio fakes a shot back to Duran. Over to Fernando Clavillo. Clavillo down low. And it's Godfrey Ingram who sends him across the floor to Duran. Duran back to Fernando Clavillo. Good ball movement here, but not many shots. 
Not many opportunities. Dallas playing the box very tightly. 42 seconds left on the power play. It's Durant, top of the arc. Left side, Claudio De Oliveira back to Durant. Fires and shoots wide. And got actually passed the ball to Ingram because he mishit it. Godfrey tried to one-time it in and shot it wide. Papaleo throws the ball down the left side with only 27 seconds left in this man advantage. Only five seconds left in the first quarter of play. Only three seconds. I don't think Durant realizes there's only three seconds left. Darrell didn't realize the time as he was coming down the floor that he had to really hustle. So at the end of the things, Ron, that comes into play in indoor soccer is how fit are you? You have to be up and back and play every aspect of the game. You lose the ball going forward, you must immediately get back to defend. Storm have the ball as we kick it off in the second quarter. They're down 1-0. They're the highest scoring team in the league, but unfortunately they've also given up the most goals. Got Bringer down low, tries to shoot, has it blocked. Picked up by Wes McLeod. Only four seconds now left on the St. Louis power play. Dallas, by the way, is perfect when they've been short-handed this season. They are now five for five in terms of killing off penalties. Dallas has the ball. The penalty is over. We're back to even strength, five on five. They are clearly the best team in the league in that department, Ron. And one of the main reasons is their goalkeeper, Joe Papaleo. You pointed out he was the goalkeeper of the year in the league last year. He's very sure-handed. And to go along with that, he's excellent at his distribution of the ball. Brian Spencer for the storm. Kicks it down the right side for Thompson to see. And settles it nicely. Plays it back for Godfrey Ingram. Outside the red line. Ingram squares the ball left side. Claudio De Oliveira to the red line. Shoots and just misses wide. Ingram picks up the rebound. Carries it to the near boards. Godfrey now top of the box. Shoots and misses on the right side by about two feet. The ball hit the area of the boards where it meets the glass. Is the Dallas defense. They thought... And he was so far out, he would look for a teammate to either work a 1-2 or a return pass. While they were ball watching, he curled the ball with his right foot, eluding all defenders. Good opportunity for Godfrey Ingram. Two of the most skilled players in the league in this game tonight in Tattoo and Brecky. Brecky of the Storm leads the league in scoring 10 goals, 9 assists in only 6 games. In fact, he was shut out in one of those games in the last one. Dallas with the ball, taken out, knocked away from behind nicely by Fernando Covillo, picked up by Donegan over to Terry Brown. The youngster out of Umsel, Brown settles the ball, back to the red line of Brecky. Brecky, who's just sensational with his left foot, steps over it, comes to the top of the arc, turn, shoots, it's deflected, goes wide. He was knocked down as he shot. Now Brecky takes down Tattoo, and the official says play on. Tattoo hit the floor hard, did a little bit of acting. Here is Pedro De Brito down the right side, played it off the boards, but he was... Knocked out of the play, couldn't get it, and Flavio kicks it back to Slobo Ilyevsky. Slobo, who's a legend here in St. Louis, a legend in the league. He owns most of the records in this league for goalkeepers. It's hard to believe, but he has played 21,026 minutes. Precky across the floor to Donegan. Chests the ball down, settles it, but can't shoot. Back to Precky nicely. He shoots and just misses on the right side, maybe a foot wide. And Papaleo had trouble with the rebound, but unfortunately for St. Louis, there was nobody there. Another thing about Slobo is the fact that he's very skilled in his own end, using his feet. He's very good, along with Papaleo, at distribution of the ball, but he's always been a keeper since the inception of this league, who's been very skilled with his feet. Bre Brecky is fouled on the far side by Tattoo, so the Storm get a free kick. We'll explain the foul situation to you when we have time. Terry Brown could not receive the pass from Brecky and Dolly steals it for Dallas. Dolly back the other way across the midfield line to the red line with a good run. Dolly now hits it to the left side for Tattoo. Tattoo marked up by Fernando Clavillo. Tattoo pushes the ball to the middle of four, sends it down low for Debrito. Pedro Debrito back to Dolly. Dolly has crosses it. Oh, and Powers was right there. Our check at Troy Snyder was right there all alone, standing by the left post, and he had trouble controlling the ball, or he would have had a wide open net. Now here's Dolly at the top of the arc. Dolly shoots. Very soft shot as he hit it into the penalty area, and Slobo dove out and covered up on it. Up to Precky. Precky makes a great move down the right side, past Powers. Precky down in the Dallas zone. And now on another man. Precky shoots and scores! What a run by Precky! With the length of the floor, beat two men and hammered it home. And Precky has tied this game. Huh, what a goal! What a beautiful run by Brecky. Fans got a chance to see some individual brilliance from Tattoo earlier on. Now Brecky returns the favor for the hometown fans. Beautiful running from midfield, very comfortable going forward, superbly composed, 
beats the keeper, and now it's 1-1. Great run by Precky out of his own end. That was a world-class, a world-class run and a world-class goal by Precky, who leads the league in scoring. That's his 11th goal of the season. A lot of players would have shot that ball much, much sooner, but he waited till the opportune moment when he beat the last defender and lifted the ball with the keeper's head. Yeah, he, he cleanly beat two defenders on the way down the floor. Now the ball back in. Thompson, you see, oh, tattoo shoots from a tough angle, and Slobo just got his right hand on it and deflected it wide as a storm in trouble in their own end. Now Muir kicks it up the middle of the floor to take some pressure off. Nobody there, but he did get it back out into the neutral zone, and Beto is there. Beto out of Brazil, kicks it down the right side and kicks it up out of play. Does the guy ever come off the floor? Oh, he's out there all the time. I don't know. Out of the 60 minutes, he's got to play 40 anyway. And he, he had reconstructive knee surgery two years ago. He missed the whole season, but you'd never know it. No, you wouldn't, Ron. He had a very badly injured knee, and he's totally reconstructed it. Tremendous rehabilitation program, and he's back on top of the league in scoring. Ball picked up by Darrell Durant in his own red line, plays it back to Slobo. He pops it over the outside of his right foot to Durant, who has some space up the right side. Durant to midfield. Durant all the way to the red line, down to the corner to Thompson. You see it. The ball is kicked high in the air by the Dallas defenders. Durant wins a 50-50 ball. He is so strong on the boards. Durant, top of the arc, cannot shoot. He stops the ball now, top of the arc, still has it. To Thompson, you see it, who tries to shoot. And that's blocked by Dolly. Dolly has it, knocked away from behind him, though, by the storm picked up at midfield loose ball there and finally Fernando Covillo settles it down and settles the storm down to Godfrey Ingram in front of the St. Louis bench left wing boards Ingram fakes his way past Beto into the Dallas zone down into the left corner Godfrey Ingram still with it plays it back to Fernando Covillo with the red light Covillo top of the arc turns and shoots and that's blocked Fernando in heavy traffic trying to shoot loose ball Thompson you see and goes to the corner for what types of it scores Thompson you see it with a goal the ball came off the back boards into the corner and he one time it with a side volley and caught the upper deck of the goal and it's 2-1 St. Louis another fabulous goal for the St. Louis Storm as Thompson you see in digs the ball out beats the last defender and roofs the ball over the head of the keeper, Joe Papaleo. But that goal was scored because the St. Louis Storm did not allow the Dallas sidekicks, who had possession. They didn't allow them to get the ball out of their own end. The end result, the ball breaks loose to an offensive player from the Storm, Thompson, you see in, and he buries the ball past Joe Papaleo. And the thing that made it such a great goal was it's such a difficult ball to handle. It comes, it comes off the end boards, and the ball has a lot of spin on it. He took it out of the air with a side volley and just buried it in the upper deck. Ten and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Storm up for the first time now at 2-1 with two goals here early in the second quarter play. Pedro Debrito for Dallas. Pedro Debrito inside the single zone of the red line. Inside the red line now along the board. Spencer has him marked up. He tried to shoot. The ball hit Spencer, then hit the top of the glass and bounced out of play. So it'll be a kick in for the Dallas sidekicks near the corner kick spot. We do have corner kicks in this league. In fact, it's on the corner kick spot because the ball went out inside that corner flag. Thompson, you see, and got that last goal in seventh of the year from Claudio de Oliveira. And we have a corner kick coming up for Dallas. These are dangerous because they're set pieces. Teams work on these in practice. To look for the open man, look for the scoring opportunity. And it's always, almost always, I should say, a real decent goal scoring opportunity. You're in deep. You have the defense set up. You can run people off the ball around defenders. It's your job to find the open man. Here is Tattoo going to take this corner kick. He's got Beto with him. Tattoo now kicks it into the, into the penalty area. That's blocked out. It was fanned on by Bruno Ferretti as the rebound came to him at the top of the arc. He got just a little bit of it. Kicked it wide, and the Storm cleaned it out back to the Dallas red line. Wes McLeod back to get it. McLeod is a Canadian out of Vancouver with nine blocks on the season. Blocks are, are very important statistics in this league for defensemen. Some of these guys, like Mark Fredrickson, really eat a lot of leather over the years. Fredrickson has over 600 blocks in his career. That's a lot of soccer balls banging against your body. It goes to show that you're getting in front of the ball, obviously, Ron, but also it's a good testimony to the fact that you're really thick. You stay involved in the flow of the attack and the defense as well. Terry Brown from Umso back to Schmetzer. Brian Schmetzer, an all-star last year at Tacoma. Free agent picked up by the star to Brown. Brown bumped away from behind and... Tattoo picks the ball up. He is dangerous everywhere. Tried to lay it off. Fernando Clavillo got a piece of it. Precky picks up the loose ball. It's Precky and Tattoo. Precky tried to get it down to Donegan, who had a run into the Dallas zone, but covering up on defense 
was Wes McLeod, and McLeod knocked away. Now Perky with the steal. Inside the Dallas zone, knocked away on a good tackle. The ball was tackled away from him nicely. And Dallas comes back the other way. De Brito with that tackle, knocking the ball away from Perky. Tattoo into the St. Louis zone, double teamed off the backboard. Loose ball, top of the box. It is Beto on the right side. He shoots, and that's blocked by Fernando Covillo. And it goes high against the end glass and comes back to the middle of the floor. Good defending by the St. Louis Storm, not allowing the dangerous players from the Dallas sidekicks to do any damage. Troy Snyder with the ball. Snyder's out of Reading, Pennsylvania. Down into the corner to Tattoo. Tattoo guarded up by Fernando Clavio. Smetzer comes over to help out. Tattoo gets rid of the ball. Back to the corner to Troy Snyder. Snyder crosses it through the box. Nobody there, but Beto runs a rebound down on the near boards. And back to the red line, top of the red line to Powers. Mike Powers, a St. Louis, a fine defender in his league. Down into the corner to Tattoo. Clavillo knocks it away from him, knocks him down, and Tattoo just looks up at the officials and said, where's the whistle? Last year, when the Storm would play Dallas, Tattoo would be mugged the entire night by Fernando Clavillo. There were games where Clavillo had 13 and 14 fouls, but that's, that's not going to be the case anymore because there's a four-foul rule in the league, which we'll explain to you. Fernando Clavillo for the Storm. Played last weekend with walking pneumonia two games. A marvelous athlete and a great soccer player. Down to the right corner for Thompson. You see it. He's got Beto on him. You see him place it back to the red line to Claudio De Oliveira. De Oliveira was the newcomer of the year in this league last year. Received the award before the game tonight. Thompson, you see it on his back. Tried to kick it ahead. And it's kicked up out of play by Beto. So it'll be a kick in for the Storm on the touchline on the right side. Play tonight in the Major Soccer League at half. San Diego leads Baltimore by a score of 4-3. to three. San Diego, the defending champions and the, the team that wins this league seemingly every year, off to a real slow start at 1-5. and five. Long ball down to the St. Louis end. It is Marcio Carrera, or Marcelo Carrera, with a shot that goes wide. Claudio De Oliver picks it up, runs it through his own penalty area, and... Sends it over to Duran. Duran to Precky in the middle of the floor. Precky lays the ball back to Claudio De Oliveira. De Oliveira has some space across the midfield line. Steps over the ball once, twice, three times. Gets almost to the red line. Then pops it back to Thompson Yassin with the outside of his right foot. To Fredrickson. To Precky. Precky. Now we've got a foul call on the right side against DeBrito as he was obstructing Precky. Precky trying to get into the zone. DeBrito holding him. Any player, a player who has more than four fouls in any half, now must sit out a two-minute penalty. That's a new rule this year to try to cut down on some of the whistles, and it's really helped. It's really helped the flow of the game. We don't have nearly as many whistles. And so far, Ron, it's only been called once in the league. Yeah, I've not, we have not seen it in any of the Storm games at all. Dallas steals now the right side. It's picked up by Dolly. Dolly with Fredrickson marking him up. Mark knocks it away from behind. Freddie out of St. Louis University. Played a long time in his league. Dolly gets it back, though. Ten feet from the red line to Uramovich. Right wing at the red line, you remember it's back to Dolly in the right corner. Fredrickson marking him up tightly. Dolly goes down. Fred Fredrickson right there. Dolly playing with the ball on his back. On his back. He picked the ball up with both feet and popped it towards the goal. That was that was remarkable. There's Precky having a release pass block. Duran at his own end trying to find someone to get rid of it. Duran now finally plays it back to Slobo. A lot of high pressure by Dallas as they're really on occasion giving the Storm fifths in trying to get the ball out of their own end. Now Precky loses the ball in midfield. He tried a heel pass and it was blocked by Mike Powers. <clears throat> Off to Troy Snyder. Snyder at the midfield line. Across the kickoff spot. Center of the floor. Plays it to Beto. Left wing boards near the penalty box. Now back to Snyder and to Wes McLeod in the neutral zone. Across the floor from the right side to the left side for Beto. Beto. Dribbles the ball up to the middle of the field and sends it down to the corner for Uramovich off the backboard zone. Nobody could get it. Went right to Slobo. Throws immediately up to Claudio De Oliveira. De Oliveira is knocked down hard by Troy Snyder. A foul against Snyder. Quick restart for the star, but Precky loses the ball as it was tackled away from him nicely by Kevin Smith. But Claudio picks up the loose ball for the Storm. Approaches the red line. He's got Ingram on his left. Goes right side. Thompson, you see it. Tobo had a little trouble settling the ball. So passes back to Duran, who spins. Duran spins around Kevin Smith into the right corner. Duran back to Greg Muir, the rookie defender outside the red line of Terry Brown. Brown down in the deep antenna for Thompson, you see it, but the ball never got to him, and Dallas intercepts it. Smith, but Smith loses it. Godfrey, or Thompson, you see him, picks it up. Terry Brown with a shot, goes high and wide. Tomo tried to 
Kick it back over his head. Kicked it high in the air back to the neutral zone. And Greg Muir has it there. Muir fighting for the ball. Wins a 50-50 ball nicely. Down the right wing boards for Godfrey Ingram in the Dallas zone. Ingram off to Thompson. You see it at one times it. Oh, and he didn't get too much on it. And it was partially blocked. Partially blocked by Wes McLeod. But that was the play. McLeod was away from Thompson. You see him for just an instant. That's all it takes to hit a ball first time, but McLeod recovered very quickly. Both teams playing really solid defense here tonight. Storm had a lot of defensive problems on the season. They've by far given up the most goals in the league, but they're playing pretty solid tonight. Tattoo has the ball, though. He takes it away from the Storm, approaches the red line, splits the defense, goes down, and he's fouled on the play. Tried to walk right through Brown and Donning, and it did, and took a little bit of a dive, but they also got a piece of him. So Tattoo gets up slowly. It'll be a free kick for Dallas inside the St. Louis zone, about six feet inside the red line. There you see how Tattoo and Precky are pretty much cut from the same cloth. Whenever they have the opportunity to go on one-on-one -on -one with a defender, they will never hesitate because they have confidence in their own abilities to, first of all, beat that man and lay it off to the open person. Yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, they're impossible to stop almost. One-on-two, sometimes it's <laughs> not much easier to stop them. Here is Tattoo with the start. Plays it down off the end boards. Loose ball next to the box, and Fernando Clavillo hammers it off the backboards. So it comes back out in the neutral zone. Tattoo has it there. Tattoo marked up by Donegan. Lays the ball back to Troy Snyder at the midfield line. Now Snyder right side to Tattoo again. Or to check it. That was uh, Wes McLeod. Down to Tattoo. Tattoo into the St. Louis zone. Clavillo on him. Takes him to the boards. Tattoo triple teamed as the Storm took it away from him. But they can't clean it out. They do get it outside the red line. But Tattoo has it right back again. Shoots across and they score. They score. It looks like it's going to be Pedro de Brito right there. Whether he'll get credit for the goal or not, I don't know. The ball was on the goal line when he got there. May have rolled in. It's just going to depend on how they scored. But Tattoo created it all by carrying the ball in on the right side along the board. Sent it to the left goal post. And Pedro de Brito was right where he's supposed to be, Bill. Tremendous individual work by Tattoo of composure that Precky displayed earlier. Lays the ball across the face of the goal. Wasn't the most artistic of endeavors, but nevertheless, Pedro de Brito was there when he had to be. Now it's two each with 3.52 remaining. Getting close to halftime. Storm has the ball up to kickoff. Brian Schmetzer to Claudio De Oliveira. De Oliveira gets past two men, runs to the red line. De Oliveira with a good run. Oh, and he played it right side, trying to get over to Donegan, and that pass was blocked. And Donegan is wide open. Schmetzer with a long shot from outside the red line, deflects high and wide, back to the midfield line. Schmetzer back to get it. Over to Daryl Duran, the storm captain. Duran with a long shot. Oh, what a rocket from Duran outside the red line. He had a laser from about 55 feet They off. couldn't even have a chance to run on for the rebound. Yeah, Daryl doesn't shoot that much, especially from out there. He's got a heavy foot. He used to be a forward, used to be a midfielder. He knows how to shoot. And that one came from about 55 feet, and it was a rocket. All right, here comes the corner kick by the Storm. Corner kick on the right side. He's got Duran Thompson, you see him, Claudio there, and Brian Spencer with it. Now Claudio runs into the left post. Brecky will take this corner kick off to Duran. He shoots, and it's blocked by Beto. Duran gets the rebound off to Thompson. You've seen who tried to jam it in. And a foul is called. What is it? Foul call on Thompson. You've seen whenever going Thompson. forward. You see it with his foot. So a foul on Tubble. So it'll be a free kick for Dallas just outside their own red line with 3.22 left. When a foul is committed in this league, the other team gets what's called a free kick. They start with no opposition. Here is Tattoo, down right wing boards, Duran marking him up. Thompson Nishian comes over to help out. Tattoo trying to dance his way around two plan players. He gets it back to Uramovich. Uramovich with a give and go to Smith. Uramovich though shoots and hits it up high over the glass. He got it underneath that ball on a nice give and go attempt. But the Storm defenders have to realize this. When they are marking their own man, sometimes they have to get free from their own man to help out against Tattoo because he's so dangerous one-on-one. -on -one. As you pointed out earlier, Ryan, He'll always beat that last defender one-on-one. -on -one. Consequently, you have to come over and support your defender. Glad you're with us on this Friday night. You're listening to St. Louis Storm Soccer on KMOX, the voice of St. Louis. 3.05 remaining here in the first quarter or first half of play. Duran back to Slobo Ilyevsky. Slobo slowly up on the top of the penalty area. Now slowly to his own red line. Kicks it down the left side. He's got Prucky down there. Prucky settles it with his left knee. Prucky with a shot from a tough angle. And Papaleo came over and pinched in against the boards and made that save. Papaleo throws the ball up to midfield. It's stolen away by Terry Brown. Brown with a bad pass to Fredrickson. But he came in, though, and tackled the ball and got it back to the Dallas red line. Up the left side, the sidekicks have it. We're in a 2-2 tie game. 
Here is Pedro DeBrito. DeBrito double team, triple team. Terry Brown takes it away for the Storm. Brown trying to leave it for Dunnigan, but DeBrito intercepted. Now back to Dolly. Dolly with a long shot. I think he expected Tattoo to be coming into the penalty area. Tattoo had stopped. So the Storm have it. Here's Precky up the right side slowly. 2.13 remaining in the first half. Across the floor to Terry Brown. Not a very good pass from Precky that time as it was knocked away by Beto and Dallas has it. Off to Dolly. Dolly takes a dive on the play. <laughs> Give him about a 9.7, but he doesn't get the call. Duran with it down to Donigan. Donigan had four goals here the other night. Donigan, the second-year player out of the University of Connecticut. In fact, he was the player of the decade in the Big East Conference in the decade of the 80s, and he's really coming into his own. He had a tough rookie season, but he's played 200% better, if that's possible, here in his second year at the early going. Dallas with the ball. It's Beto running from the left side to the right side. Oh, he's got a man wide open on the left side. It's Terry Woodbury. Woodbury with a cross, but it goes behind Kevin Smith, who was running to the right post. Beto with a heel pass back to Troy Snyder. Snyder or back to Beto. Beto trying to get around Thompson. You see him can't tumble. Knocks the ball away. Brecky picks it up. Gives it off to Greg Muir. Muir slowly up to the left side. Down to Thompson. You see it in the Dallas zone. I think he expected Muir to overlap on a give and go, and Greg had stopped. Tomo's pass is intercepted now by the sidekicks. Off to Troy Snyder. That's where the communication comes in, with a, especially with a young player. Muir should have on, been on a run, should have overlapped it, but he was playing it conservative and stopped. Bill. You have to be alert for that one-two pass, especially when you knock the ball out of your own backfield. Your job is not finished when you make the pass. Jeremovich has it for Dallas in the St. Louis end. A heel pass into the penalty area. Intercepted there by Godfrey Inger. Off to Thompson, you see it. He gets it back into his own zone as he was under some defensive pressure to Claudio de Oliveira and back to Slobo. With 40 seconds left in the half, the Storm have the ball out of their own end. It's Greg Muir. We're tied at two at the arena. Dallas and St. Louis. Slobo Olievsky. Volleys it right side to Claudio, Claudio or to Fernando Covillo. Check it. Covillo, long ball down to Thompson to see in the target man. Tomo tries to lay it off and does. Ingram with a shot and that's blocked. Hard shot by Godfrey, but it was blocked. Off to Greg Muir. Muir Squares the ball to Ingram. Ingram one-times it. Intended for Terry Brown down to the corner. That's intercepted by Dallas with only 10 seconds left here in the first half of play, and that's going to be it. As Tattoo just kicks it down the right side and turns around and heads for the dressing room. Well, with one second left, with one second left, the whistle blows. It's going to be a, oh, this is, this is not good. A legal procedure against the Storm. So with a second left, Dallas will get a free kick from the red line. There's a dot on the middle of the floor at the red line. This is a, a top the offensive third or top of the St. Louis zone. It's 50 feet away from the goal. So with one second left, Dallas will have a restart because the Storm was guilty of a legal procedure. Dallas is using a sixth attacker, so their goal is empty, but it really doesn't matter anyway because there's no way St. Louis could score in one second. Tattoo will take this. There's a three-man wall in front of him. And now Dallas calls a timeout. That's who wants to talk about it. What can he talk about with one second with this free kick? And it's a shot taken, and it's deflected wide. <laughs> Is that what they took 60 seconds to talk about? I thought they were going to take the timeout to decide how to split the atom, but that obviously didn't happen. <laughs> well, we played a half a game here at the arena, and we haven't settled a thing. It's the St. Louis Storm, too, with the Dallas sidekicks, too. 6-4. We'll be playing pretty much with regard to the rules set forth by the Major Soccer League. Usually they play on a configuration similar to a basketball floor with no boards around, and a lot of players just, the ball's knocked around a lot of good possession, and you see the individual brilliance of the farm players. But now the American element gets into Europe. All right, we're ready to go for the second half of this one. It's the Storm and Dallas tied at two. Dallas scored first in the first quarter. Storm got two in a row to take a 2-1 lead, and then Tattoo got his second of the night to tie it up. And that's where we are. Dallas kicks it off, start of the second half. It's Beto on the right side, kicks it off the right wing boards, down to the St. Louis 10. Kiarovic right in front. Claudio, Fernando Covillo knocked it away. Loose ball in the box, and Slobo comes out to make a good diving save as he came off his mark and stopped a hard shot from Beto. Brecky has it for St. Louis. Plays the ball back to Fernando Covillo. Over to Darrell Duran at his own red line. Ran off the near boards. Plays it off the boards to Claudio de Oliveira right in front of the Dallas bench. Claudio double teamed and loses the ball. Duran, though, comes in and muscles for it and takes it away and sends it back to Fernando Covillo, who plays it back to Slobo. Elievsky one times it up to Clavillo. Clavillo tried to clear it out and had it knocked away by Tattoo. Is right in his face. Tattoo 
kind of cheats back there, but he plays defense, and he marks up the defender trying to come out of his own zone. And really plays it pretty tight. He does, Ron, and he will work. Tattoo does not just go forward all the time. He's very comfortable doing that, obviously, but he'll get back to help on defense. Thompson, you see, and heads the ball into the Dallas zone. Precky ran onto it, but the ball went past him, went to Papaleo. Dallas clears it out of their own end. Long ball down the right side for Marcelo Carrera. Carrera, who had a hat trick the other night. Carrera, in his first year in this league, played in another minor league last year. There's a shot, and it deflects off of Schmetzer and hits high and wide, and Claudio picks it up to Precky. Back to Claudio. Pass was too far ahead of him. Hitting the floor hard is Snyder, and Dallas wins the ball. It's Carrera. Back to Beto. Beto walks around Precky, crosses, sends it across the floor to Mike Powers, the St. Louis, and playing for Dallas. Powers into the St. Louis, then shoots, and it hit Mark Fredrickson in the chest and goes up over the glass and into the crowd. Four, both these clubs off to slow starts in that regard. Dallas are one of the better teams in the league over the years. They won their division last year. The thing about the makeup of their team is that they lost some excellent players to the Tacoma Stars, three in particular, Mark Carpen, Willie Milano, and Steve Kinsey, and in the process lose Richard Chinapu to, Dal uh, to Baltimore. So they're a largely, in part, reconstructed team. And one of their fine players, Doc Lawson, is out tonight. So they are a lot of teams, though, in this league have changed because of the free agency system in the league. A lot of players jumped around. As an example, that's Schmetzer and Precky to the star, both free agents out of Tacoma. Dallas controls the ball into the St. In the St. Louis end. We're tied at two. Knocked away. Picked up by Donegan. Knocked away nicely by Schmetzer. Donegan up the left wing boards. Being stopped there. Pulled around by Pedro DeBrito. DeBrito threw him down. Fouled against DeBrito. It'll be a restart for the Storm. Schmetzer wanted to restart it quickly, but he couldn't. Off to Ingram. Ingram down to the right corner for Donegan. Donegan, the second-year man out of University of Connecticut. Off the boards. Off the glass to Terry Brown. Brown loses the ball as he's double-teamed to the corner. Picked up down there by Dolly. Dolly can't get it out. Brown had it momentarily, just briefly, but couldn't control it. And Dallas kicks it down the floor. And they're changing players. You had asked me earlier, Ron, one of the key differences between outdoor and indoor. And indoor, if your first touch of the ball is not good, you will not see the ball again because the proximity of the defenders, they immediately defend and go forward with the ball. So you have to be really skilled with your individual ball skills. Otherwise, you will lose the ball immediately. Yeah, there's really a premium on being able to handle the ball, whereas you say outdoors, you have in many cases a lot of room for error because you have so much more space. Slobo up way over the red line. Kicks it down into the Dallas end for Thompson. You see it, and we've got a foul call against you see it. He pushed off. That's why he won the ball. He pushed off from behind against Terry Woodbury. Woodbury out of London. A lot of English players in this league. A lot of players from Yugoslavia. Keeping in mind those individual ball skills, right. Yugoslavians are always superb in that aspect of the game. Yeah, most of the Yugoslavians in this league play midfield, which is the position that requires probably the best ball skills, ball handling skills. Exactly right. You get the ball out of the backfield, you distribute the ball to your forwards. However, you have to be comfortable as well going forward and playing on offense. You don't just distribute the ball, you have to be able to score as well. Here's Fredrickson. Heading the ball as he steals it midfield. Off to Godfrey Ingram. Ingram to Thompson. Do you see any try to heel pass to Terry Brown? Misconnections there. Ball stolen away by Kevin Smith. Loose ball. 50-50 ball. One now by Ingram. Off to Terry Brown. Brown, though, is taken off the ball by Tattoo. Tattoo with a run. Gets around a tackle. And gets into the St. Louis end of Beto. Down to Tattoo. Down low. And he takes a shot. Fernando Cavill caught up with him after he had been beaten and blocked that shot. The ball out of bounds off the foot of Tattoo. Storm defender. Five-time All-Star out of Uruguay. It's a corner kick for Dallas as the ball went out of the play inside those corner flags. Kevin Smith, another player out of England, will take this corner kick from the spot in the left corner. These are dangerous. Whistle blows. Smith looking around. He's got a period of time, and here's a shot taken by Tattoo as he one-timed it off of that corner kick, and it was blocked out of the penalty area. But Dallas controls. It's West McLeod at the red line. McLeod sends it to the left corner. Brown there hammers it. Try to hit it off the glass and hit on the play. But he hit it into the crowd. So it was on the floor. They simply knock it back to him. He runs onto it. Hits a shot first time. Here's Dallas with the ball again. Down into the St. Louis end. Fredrickson knocks it away, but it's not cleaned out. Thompson, you see it now, picks it up and kicks it back to Slobo. You're listening to St. Louis Storm Soccer on KMOX, the voice of St. Louis at about 9 o'clock. We have 11 minutes and 5 seconds left in the third quarter of play. We're tied at 2. Slobo Olievsky kicks the ball midfield. Headed high in the air by Troy Snyder. One time back by Fernando Clavio, but right to Snyder. Loose ball picked up by Thompson. You see it. It's a two-on-one. He's with Claudio de Oliveira. And he shoots and shoots high and just looks at the sky and in disgust. He can't believe 
that he did that. Shot it way up into the yellow seats on a two-on-one. He sucked. He sucked the defender to him. He had Claudio all alone on the left side. They're out of Nigeria. Been in the United States for many years, though. And he won't do that very often. No, he won't. He led the team in scoring last year round with 27 goals and 25 assists. So he's comfortable going forward. A rare well, air going forward from Thompson, you see him. He couldn't believe it after he shot it. <laughs> and it hit the yellow seats. I mean, almost went to the parking lot. Here's Papaleo, the Dallas keeper, throwing it to midfield. Chested down there by Carrera. Back to Uremovich. Off to Mike Powers, the St. Louis. There was some talk that Powers might wind up with the storm this year, but it didn't happen. Powers one times it down into the left corner. Slobo way out of the goal. Sends it back to midfield. Perky got a piece of it there, but couldn't control it. Loose ball. Picked up on the far side. Off the boards by Uremovich of Dallas. Uremovich up to Dolly. Dolly being mugged by Terry Brown. Dolly into the St. Louis end. Brown goes down. Dolly goes down, and the foul is going to be called on Terry Brown. Brown was, was just mugging him all the way across the floor, but... Dolly was controlling the ball. That's the reason they didn't blow the whistle. Then when they both finally went down, and Dolly is down, looked like he might have hit the floor pretty hard. So let's take a break here. We're tied at two. This is St. Louis Storm Soccer. Well, as soon as we left with the injured player, he got up, and they started playing. <laughs> Marcelo Carrera scored off their restart, so Dallas has taken a 3-2 lead with 10 minutes and 5 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Thompson, you see, and down into the Dallas zone. Thompson gives it off to Daryl Duran, who fires one time and caught the corner of the goal. Corner of the upright. Now the loose ball comes middle of the field. It's two on two. As breaking down is Terry Woodbury, but the cross is intercepted by Duran. Still controlled by Dallas. Woodbury goes for the ball, and Slobo dove out and punched it out of there with his right fist as Woodbury went for the ball all alone in the penalty area. Now Precky has it for St. Louis. Precky being hounded, marked up tightly by Kevin Smith. Plays it back to Fredrickson. Freddy over to Clavillo. Clavillo in front of the St. Louis bench. Kicks it from the right side to the left side. The Thompson you see and plays it back to Precky. Precky 15 feet from the red line. Precky against DeBrito. Gets across the red line. Still has the ball on his left foot. Precky tried to jam it in. Knocked away. Fredrickson picks it up. Claudio de Oliveira now has it at the red line. Steps over it once, twice. Sends it down low to Thompson you see it. A Fernando Clavillo along the right wing boards. Back to de Oliveira. Six feet from the red line. Tried to jam it in. Knocked away by Uremovich, headed though by Fredericks and as he saved the ball, into Precky and Precky is being mugged he's being mugged by Pedro DeBrito who said, who me? DeBrito had both hands wrapped around him it's here. obvious when the game started that Pedro DeBrito drew the job of Marcus here's the Precky. restart, Precky with a shot and it's blocked I'm sorry, repeat yours it's pretty obvious when the game started around that Pedro DeBrito was the defender for Dallas who drew the unenviable task of having to mark Precky. Thompson, you see him deep into the Dallas zone in the penalty area. Doesn't shoot. Mark Fredrickson tried to jam it in and shoot. That was blocked. Clavillo keeps it in with a header. Off to Freddy on the left side. Fredrickson to Thompson, you see him. Back to Precky. Precky had it knocked away from him on a tackle by Beto. Precky gets it back. Left wing boards at the red line. Now sends it back to the neutral area. Kicks it to Mark Fredrickson and Freddy heads for the bench for a rest. Duran will replace him. Claudio de Oliveira. Claudio de Oliveira. Has the ball off to Duran. Duran in the zone. Duran shoots and Papaleo the save. Now here's a loose ball coming loose. Fernando Covillo couldn't get to it. Two players go down. Mark Fredrickson goes down hard along with Troy Snyder. Not, I mean, Daryl Duran went down hard as Duran got right in Snyder's way and just frankly kept him out of the play. Now here's Claudio de Oliveira being knocked down to the far side by DeBrito. And a whistle blows. No, no whistle. Claudio all over the official thinking there should have been a foul call and probably should have been. I thought there was a whistle the way they were acting out there because everybody kind of stopped. Here is Beto at the midfield line, laying it back for Smith. Smith squares the ball for Beto. Beto near the kickoff spot, right in the middle of the floor. The Serena floor, 100 feet from the goal. 
Beto sends it down into the St. Louis end. Down into the left corner. It is Delgado now in the game for his first shift. Eloy Delgado, and he loses the ball. Picked up by Boba Lusik, also on the floor for the first time. Lusik loses the ball. Yurevich has it for Dallas. Into the St. Louis zone. Has it knocked away from him by Durant. Picked up by Powers in the neutral zone. Goes right side for Salgado. Salgado sends it down to the corner for Yurevich. Yurevich and Duran fight for it, and Duran wins the ball and sends it back to Slobo. Again, great tackling by Daryl Duran. Once he gets his body between the offensive player and the ball, you simply cannot get it away. The Dallas sidekicks are doing a good job here early in the third quarter of applying all kinds of pressure to the St. Louis Storm, not only on defense, not allowing them to get the ball out of their own end, but on offense, they're really all over the defensive team of the Storm when they lose the ball. Boba Lusik was fouled by the Brito. Now Lusik is knocked down again. This time, no whistle as he got the ball to Schmetzer. Schmetzer plays it off the near boards for Terry Brown in the Dallas zone. Brown has to send it back to Schmetzer outside the line. Now Schmetzer kicks it down deep. Brown can't catch up to it. It rides the boards all the way around to Joe Papaleo. Papaleo on the counterattack, throws it down to right side with a long run, a hard run down there is Salgado. Salgado, though, cannot control the ball. Fredrickson back to pick him up and wins the ball. Kicks it to Slobo, rolls it up to Terry Brown with 6.20 left here in the third quarter. Play Dallas with the only third quarter goal, and they lead it 3-2. Fredrickson to the midfield line, just lays the ball for Spencer. Spencer, first team all-star last year with Tacoma, missed a couple of games last weekend. In fact, he's missed uh, three games with a groin problem, and his wife gave birth to a new baby this week. It's Ilyevsky kicking it down into the Dallas end, but it's headed out of there, and the sidekicks control again. It's Dolly midfield, but Terry Brown hustles over, takes it away. Brown back to Schmetzer at his own red line, squares the ball nicely across the red line to Mark Fredrickson. Freddie being watched by Salgado. And they're giving him so much pressure on, they do not have a man to find to bring the ball field. Consequently, the Storm has to flight a long ball, a lot of long balls out of their own backfield, and those will come back to haunt you. Slobo kicks it down to Precky off the left wing boards. Precky settles it there, double team, walks through two guys, stops once, pushes it through the boards, hammers it off the boards. It's blocked by Beto, high in the air, loose ball in the box, headed back out to the neutral zone by Dallas, where Fernando Clavillo settles the ball. Yeah, they're they're playing the storm man to man, and it's almost like a full court press in basketball. Forcing a lot of giveaways in the process. Fredrickson just gives it away, and the Dallas has it. Two Dallas players run together, but Kevin Smith comes up with it. Smith with the ball. Lays it back to Beto, about 15 feet from his own red line. A heel kick for him back to West McLeod as Dallas now tries to build it up from the back. Star marking Dallas up, man on man. Beto off the right wing boards for Smith. Clavillo over there. Smith goes down. He can't control it. Terry Brown comes over and jumps over the top of him and gets the ball. Off to Fredrickson. Off the boards to Brown just outside his red line. He is hit hard but controls the ball. Off to Fredrickson. Up the right side, Precky. Brecky kicks a long ball down to Thompson, you see, and you see him shoots all right on from a great angle. Here's Fredrickson with a shot, that's why, with Papaleo out of the goal. Brecky has it again, Brecky, right side of the box, squares it to Thompson, you see it, he shoots, and that's blocked by the defense, and it goes wide. Brecky gets the rebound back. That was a great save a moment ago by Papaleo. This game would be tied, and we've got a penalty coming up as Brecky was taken down hard. Brecky was taken down hard by Pedro Debrito. Well, you, you pointed out a little bit ago that DeBrito is out there to mark up Brecky. Brecky got up limping, but Pedro DeBrito will go to the pitcher. They're one for eight now with the man advantage on the season. Not as nearly as many power plays in this game as there is in hockey if you compare the two sports. But usually you get a couple of games. That's right, Ron. And you, as you pointed out earlier, the Storm simply has to be more proficient on this man advantage unit because it's an excellent job to get back into the game. Case in point, right now, 4-14 left in the third quarter. They trail by only one goal. You've got to take advantage of these opportunities. It's Godfrey Ingram. Godfrey Ingram crosses it for Thompson. You see it, and then a shot by Claudio De La Vera, stopped by Papaleo. Duran with a shot. Hits the glass high over the crossbar. Rebound comes back to Fernando Clavillo. He's 15 feet from the red line. Gives it to Duran in the Dallas zone. Duran tried to jam in the corner to Claudio. That was deflected, but comes back to Duran as Claudio hustled back out to get the ball. Clavillo off to Duran. He gives it to Claudio down low. Claudio De La Vera tries to jam it in the box. Loose ball. Almost put in by Papaleo into his own goal as he hit the ball. And it hit the boards about a foot short, foot wide of the goal. Papaleo throws it down the left side. 50-50 ball won there by Fernando Clavillo. Off to Durant. A minute 15 left in this St. Louis power play with Pedro DeBrito in the penalty box. 
Ingram at the right point. Fernando Covillo is the quarterback right in the middle of the floor to Duran at the left point. Duran back to Covillo. Covillo just inside the red line. Covillo down low, gives it to Godfrey Ingram. Tried to cross it to Thompson. You see it in the penalty area. Now it's blocked out by Dallas. Goes back to Covillo, back to Tomo, back to Ingram. One times it, hit the defender and blocked again. Thompson, you see it. Gets it over to Ingram. Back to Proville. 49 seconds left in the power play. To Duran. Down deep left side to Claudio De Oliveira. He tried to cross to Ingram as he was flying into the penalty area. And that's blocked out. Dallas doing a marvelous job of killing off this penalty again. 36 seconds left. Pass down to Claudio down low. He shoots and just misses. Just misses on the near side. Rebound comes to the right point to Claudio. 28 seconds left. Duran down to Godfrey Ingram. One time. And a shot to the goal. A header by Thompson. You see it. Ingram off the backboard. Tomo in the penalty area. Headed it first time into the goal. And this game is tied. And finally, the Storm score on a power play. Ball showing some composure. Godfrey Ingram rebounds the ball off the near post boards across the face of the goal. Up to that point, as you just pointed out, Ron, Dallas had been doing a fabulous job of keeping the ball away from the Storm offensive players, but Thompson, you see, and runs across the face of the goal to the flighted ball and flicks it past Joe Papaleo, and now they're level at three each. One of the differences between this game and hockey is that the players tend to use those backboards intentionally in effect to make a pass, and that's what Godfrey Ingram did, hit it off the backboards, and Thompson came right through the penalty area and headed it first time into the goal. Dallas gets it into the St. Louis, and Terry Brown intercepts, wheels, and kicks it back to midfield. 50-50 ball, one by Yeremovich. Yeremovich to the St. Louis red line. Tattoo and Flavio go for it, and a foul called against uh, Donegan, against Tattoo. It'll be a free kick for Dallas just inside the St. Louis red line. Tattoo now has it, dribbles to the middle of the floor. Tattoo to the to Pedro De Vrito. back to Tattoo, left wing boards now. Ball knocked away from him, but kept in by Powers. But a bad pass. Fredrickson tried to clear it out and couldn't kick it right to Tattoo. Two players go down and take the ball away from Tattoo. They both tackled him and won the ball. Here is Precky. Precky is fouled. Oh, they say play on. Precky took a dive as he went over Mike Powers. It looked like the official was going to stop play, but he said play on. Bodies are flying all over the place. This is a, if you've never seen it there, soccer, it is a very physical game. And, of course, no pads. They wear shorts out there. Now here is Fernando Flavio committing a foul as he knocked down Tattoo from behind. <laughs> he picks up Tattoo and he gets off the bus. And he, he leaves him when he goes for his post-game shower. <laughs> Escorts him to the hotel lobby. And he lives in his shorts. He's just with him every step of the way. Here's Wes McLeod for Dallas, controlling the ball in the neutral zone. Off to Uramovich, back to McLeod on his side of midfield. Now a Tattoo in front of the Dallas bench, right down in front of us. He's 115 feet from the St. Louis goal. Just standing there. Looks like he's really getting a little rest right in the middle of the game. He that's, plays all the time. That's exactly what's happening. He's taking a rest during the course of the game. Tattoo down into the St. Louis end, but Dan Donigan wins the ball from Uramovich. Kicks it back to Slobo. We're tied at three with a minute ten left in the third quarter. Fredrickson ahead to Claudio de Oliveira. Gives a good ball to Precky. Precky double teamed. Pushes it through two men, but Tattoo just got a piece of it. Now it's tackled away by Claudio. Oh, and they call a foul against Claudio. That, that was a marginal call, but he got it. Tattoo, some people believe, it's usually the other team, that Tattoo is protected in this league by the officials. But he, he does take a beating. He's beat up by the end of the night. Here's McLeod kicking the ball to the St. Louis red line. Fredrickson hustles over for it and bangs it off the boards. And it's picked up by Tom Sinusia, who waves his teammates down the floor and comes forward. Fredrickson with a ball down to Boba Lusik, but Lusik couldn't control it. Kicked away from him by Beto, and back to Joe Papaleo. A keeper throws it up the left side, left wing boards. Fernando Clavillo is right there with Tattoo again and wins the ball, gets it back to Slobo. Slobo kicks it high and just misses the scoreboard. Thompson, you see, and chests it down and then loses it. Picked up by McLeod. McLeod's pass, middle of the floor. Fredrickson goes down, and we've got a foul called against Fredrickson as he went down underneath Greg Nichols. Nichols shoved Fredrickson as they got up. That's the reaction of the crowd. A very innocent kind of situation. He certainly wasn't trying to hurt him. Nichols out of the unlikely place of liberal Kansas. You don't find too many soccer players in liberal Kansas. Now the ball around the near boards, and Slobo dives out for it. It covers up on it with Tattoo there. Slobo throws it up for Mark Fredrickson, and that's the end of the quarter. 
That's the end of the third quarter. Well, we were tied at half. We're tied at the end of three. It's St. Louis three. Those cities are not just up the road from each not other. Not up the road. It's about a 5,000-mile weekend from the Mexican border to the Canadian border. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fourth quarter. We're tied at three. And by the way, in this league, if you're tied at the end of regulation, you play till somebody wins. So Arm have it, Thompson, you see, and down to the Dallas end along the right wing boards. Back to Spetzer. Spetzer approaches the red line, but he might pull the trigger. Gives it to Precky right side. Precky still has the ball. Precky fakes. Precky goes down deep. Precky pulls the ball back. He was about ready to shoot, and then the ball rolled away from him. He goes and gets it, gives it to Spetzer. Spetzer with a long shot. That's high and wide off the glass. Duran pinches in, holds the ball in. Duran jams it down low. Loose ball in the corner. Duran has it there. Gives it to Precky. Up to Spetzer. Spetzer can't get the shot off. It's deflected. Back to Claudio De Oliveira outside the red line. He volleys it into the corner for Thompson. You see it. Thompson off the boards. Back to Schmetzer at the right point. To Precky. Precky at the red line. Precky fakes a shot. Cuts it to the right. Then knocked away from him by Woodbury. Precky and Woodbury go to the boards. Precky wins the ball. Precky stops the ball again with his left foot. He can cut the ball like nobody I've ever seen. Here's a shot by Claudio. Hard left footer right on and Papaleo makes the save. Claudio with the ball back down low. Shoots again. And another shot off the back boards. And Thompson, you see him right in the penalty area. Got the ball. Tried the first time. It hit him up high on the shin. And better serve. But nevertheless, when you get that deep, it always is dangerous for the opposition. Claudio off to a slow start. He was the newcomer of the year in his league last year. Scored a lot of goals for the Storm. But he only has two goals and three assists on the season prior to this game here tonight. And he can be even more effective when he begins to lay the ball off right. because he's so proficient in beating that last man he can always find the open player and he tends to try to beat two and three players too often rather than lay it off now here's the Dallas throwing the ball Papaleo throwing the ball to St. Louis red line Slobo gets it one times at middle of the floor and on the floor is Mark Mosier for the first time the St. Louis and the rookie Mosier gives it off to Godfrey Ingram Ingram kicks it across the to the right side nobody over there for the storm and Beto comes up with a loose ball on his own end. Beto off the far boards for Tattoo. Guess who's on him? Fernando Clavillo. Clavillo takes the ball away from him. Clavillo gives it off to Terry Brown. Brown runs onto the ball. Middle of the floor. Neutral zone. Brown spins away from Powers. Lays it back to his own red line to Clavillo. Good work by Fernando Clavillo to first defend against Tattoo and then keep the ball on his own end and start the attack going the other way. Mark Closure, the young St. Louis in the rookie, has scored two goals in three games. He's on the floor for the first time. Some fresh legs out there here in the fourth quarter. Down at Tattoo, left wing boards. Lavio over there. Brown comes over to help out and then backs off, picks up his own man. Beto back outside to West McLeod in the neutral zone. He squares the ball to Uremovich. Uremovich right wing boards to Tattoo. Target man, Fernando Clavillo kicks it away from him. Off to Dolly. Dolly into the St. Louis zone to Tattoo. Tattoo taken down by Clavillo. Loose ball. Goes to the boards on the right side. Back to Tattoo. He hits it to the corner. Shot. Clavillo blocks that. Now the loose ball. Mosier can't get it out of there. Kept it in. And Fernando Clavillo clears it outside the red line of the neutral zone. Big pressure here by Dallas. Beto has it there at the Storm logo in the neutral zone. They are keeping the ball and going directly at the Storm defense. Possession, possession, possession. This Dallas team is marvelous at it. And they're the best defensive team, I think, in the league. Here's Dolly back into the St. Louis zone. Dolly down low. Dolly crosses the Tattoo. Tattoo turns, shoots, and scores. Tattoo with his third goal of the night. He is just lethal when he gets into that penalty area. And he had all kinds of time. Faked a couple of times. Got Slobo to go down. And then just hammered it home. Tattoo with a goal and Dallas leads 4-3. You pointed out, Ron, that he had all kinds of time. He manufactured that time for himself because of his composure in that real tight situation. He is a real treat to watch. In particular, deep in close to the opposition's goal. He is lethal. He will not miss opportunities like that. Tattoo takes his shirt off and throws it into the crowd. Caught by a young lady down in front of us. So Tattoo has given Dallas a 4-3 lead. Boy, is he a player. He is he a player. Brazil, Antonio Carlos Pecoreri, better known as Tattoo. He has lit up the scoreboard tonight as he has throughout his entire career in this league. All right, Storm in trouble now. They're down 4-3 with 12 minutes left in regulation. Claudio de Oliveira gets it to Precky. Precky has one goal tonight. Thompson, you see, and taken down to the top of the arc and screams at the official. He and Mike Powers went down. Ball middle of the floor, intercepted by Duran. Duran tried to get it ahead to Thompson. You see it knocked away. Duran has it. Got over to Tomo. Tomo down low. Tomo. Shot. Claudio de Oliveira scores. 
Thompson you're seeing with great vision. Bound to Alavera at the right post. Feathered him a beautiful pass, and all Claudio had to do was poke it over. This game is tied again at four. Pretty, pretty pass by Thompson you see it who had great vision. Tremendous play by Thompson you see it. We've been talking about tattoo scoring three goals. How about Thompson you see it who has two of his own and here lays off an absolutely beautiful ball composed very comfortable to tight situation looks up beats the keeper finds the open man great work by Thompson you see it and Claudio takes some kicks a souvenir ball into the stands as is the practice in this league till they run out of balls <laughs> and they've run out of balls a few times this year just another example if you could show some composure in these tight situations with players rebounding all over the place the ball going everywhere if you could retain your composure you will be the better player because there will always be an open man when you draw the defense it's confidence it's patience it's all of those things it's confidence in your own ability really to handle the ball Rand kicks it down into the St. Louis end antenna for Precky knocked away Donigan got a piece of it Precky comes over wins a 50-50 ball but he is called on the foul. Now oh, he screams at the officials. I don't know what the foul was for. I don't know what it's for, but he's called nonetheless. We're tied at four with 11-15 left in regulation. Ball down to the St. Louis end. It's Pedro DeBrito. Duran marking him up. DeBrito leaves it for McLeod. McLeod runs past it. So DeBrito kicks it back to the middle of the floor. And guess who has it there again? <laughs> Tattoo, he's on all the time. Tattoo, like Precky, is comfortable, not just up forward, but he'll come back into his own defense to get the ball and bring it forward. Here's Precky getting the ball after a steal by Terry Brown off to Donigan. Donigan back to Precky. Fernando Clavillo shoots and scores! Goal star Fernando Clavillo! into a very confident player in this league, in particular this year, his sophomore season. He lays off an absolutely beautiful ball for Fernando Clavijo, running out of the backfield like a steam engine. He buries it past Joe Papaleo, puts the storm on top by a score of 5-4, to four. but there is an example of the player without the ball being just as valuable, if not more important, than the man with the ball. And Clavijo, Precky, great running out of the backfield. Precky was running to the ball, and then he saw the corner of his eye, Clavijo running onto it, so he backed off because he would not have had near the angle that Fernando had with a dead run. Thompson, you're seeing down the right side, heads it into the Dallas zone against Beto. Thompson into the corner with it. Thompson with a strong play. Thompson crosses it. Oh, he crossed it right through the area to Bobo Lusik, who would have had a golden opportunity to score, but he couldn't pull the trigger. And the ball comes back to Claudio de la Vera, and he kicked it way up into the crowd and out of play. And what? But I'll tell you what. He's the kind of guy, he's the kind of athlete that if you're a young soccer player, you should emulate because he leaves everything he has on the field when the game is over. He's a tremendous athlete. I pointed out earlier that national side coach Bobby Gansler is taking a real strong look at Fernando Calvijo to play for the national team, and that's exactly what he wants him to do. Bring the ball out of the backfield at a comfortable pace and supply the ball to the younger players running forward. He's called twice in the last week wanting permission for him to play. He wants to take him to Russia with the national team, and he wants him to play in a game against Trinidad and Tobago. Whether the Storm can afford to let him go is the question. Dallas has it in the St. Louis end. It's Beto with Fredrickson marking him up. Sends it back outside the line to McLeod. Back into Beto in the St. Louis zone. Back to McLeod. 20 feet from the red line. McLeod sends it across the floor to the right wing boards. Loose ball there through the box. Fredrickson has it. And in front of Tattoo, kicks it back to Slobo. Slobo lays the ball on the floor. Comes outside across the red line. Slobo way up the floor. Oh, that was dangerous because Slobo didn't do anything with it. And... The ball was intercepted and hit Beto and it went up out of play, fortunately, because Slobo was 75 feet out of the goal. And then it is not his job, Ron, to do that. His job is to lay the ball off to a midfielder or defender. He does not need to roll the ball out and then pass it. But he's always, you know, if I, I always said if I coach Slobo, I'd have to live in a room with rubber walls. <laughs> It's a guy drives me crazy. He doesn't roam as much as he used to when he was a younger man. You're listening to St. Louis Storm Soccer on KMOX, the voice of St. Louis, America's sports voice. And we're delighted to hear with us tonight. Free kick, Claudio De Oliveira from the midfield line. Kicks it all the way down. 
towards the Dallas goal, and Papaleo has it there. Now Dallas sends it up. Powers kicks it down to the St. Louis line. McLeod goes for it, but the ball goes past him to Slobo. Slobo rolls it up to Boba Lusik. Lusik, a newcomer with the Storm this year, loses the ball, gives it up. On the far side, it's Troy Snyder with it. Now Lusik marks him up tightly, not allowing him in. Off to DeBrito. Pedro DeBrito with Claudio all over him. Now DeBrito comes to the red line. Here's trouble here down low. A shot from the left side by Bruno Ferretti. And he shot from a bad angle and kicked it up over everything and way out of play. <laughs> way would, out of play. If he was standing on Lenore K. Sullivan Boulevard, I don't think that would have <laughs> went in the river. <laughs> well, landed somewhere at East St. Louis, I think. 9.05 remaining in regulation. We're tied. We're not tied. The Storm with two quick goals have taken a 5-4 lead. After Dallas scored early in the quarter, after Tattoo got his third goal of the night to give Dallas a 4-3 lead, Storm came back with two quick ones, and they've taken a 5-4 lead. There's been some fabulous goals scored here this evening, some of which with some individual brilliance by some star players in this league, other goals by two players combining nicely, beating defenders. Storm had two goals in 53 seconds by De Oliveira and Clavijo to take the lead. Duran. Picks the loose ball up in his own zone. Kicks it back to Slobo. Claudio tried to juggle it over the top of Powers. Powers got in his way, knocked him down. So it's a foul against Mike Powers. Free kick Storm. Off to Lusick and Bobo Lusick tried to give it back to Claudio and kicked him over the boards into the Dallas bench. Bobo hasn't, Bobo hasn't got much done here. 8.43 left in regulation. Nice crowd on hand here tonight. The arena. Free kick for the side kicks a kick in in front of their own bench into the St. Louis end. Duran muscles, wins the ball, chests it down, brings it up the near board, then loses it. Picked up by Dallas. Right side, it's Uremovic. He crosses it, top of the arc. Back to Uremovic. Now back to the red line to McLeod. McLeod, to, well, he went past Carrera with the ball. Carrera had the opportunity earlier, but could not pull the trigger. Uremovic down deep into the St. Louis end, off the backboard, blocked by Duran. Schmetzer kicks it off the boards and gets it back. Schmetzer, double team, gets it back down the floor to Slobo. Storm protecting a one goal lead. Dallas changing. Storm changing. Schmetzer has a lot of space on the right side down to Donegan, but Schmetzer put his hands on his head because the pass was too far for Donegan. Donegan breaking it alone just didn't put the ball on the mark. If that ball would have been at Dan Donegan's feet going forward out of the backfield from Schmetzer. They could have been up by a score of 6-4 to four, and that's why Brian Schmetzer was holding his head. He had an excellent time. He had more time to make a better pass. Mark Fredrickson trips up Tattoo. His Tattoo just tries to muscle his way through those defenders all the time near the boards and then he goes down and gets the foul. And he was fouled by Fredrickson but he really draws a lot of fouls because he just forces the issue. Tattoo with a shot from way out. That hit Fredrickson. Donegan along the near boards. Donegan trying to push it through. Donegan is Call on uh, Donegan's going to get a who's going to get a penalty? Oh my goodness, the penalty is against Dallas. Donegan, the officials are are getting blasted by all five Dallas players. Tattoo is in their face. Papaleo is in their face of the officials. Donegan went running down the near boards, wrapped his arm around the defender, pulled him down, and the penalty is being called against Dallas. Thank you very much. Let's take a break here. When we come back, the Storm will have the lead. They will have the power play. It's St. Louis 5 and Dallas 4. This is St. Louis Storm Soccer. the official uh, he got uh, he got a face full of sidekicks all five of the Dallas players were in his face after that penalty called against Wes McLeod and quite frankly to be as honest as I can about it it was a terrible call Whew. it was a terrible call the penalty against McLeod because Donegan mugged the guy down, going down the board as you mentioned during the timeout Donegan knew he's going to get fouled so the Storm will have a power play opportunity here. They're one for two tonight on the power play. Attendance tonight, 8,144. Pretty good crowd for the Storm here at the arena. 8,144. Wes McLeod, the defender of the league last year, 
whistled up for the two-minute penalty, and as Ron Jacoba just pointed out, that was a real questionable call. We're going to get something. It was the coach of the year last year in the league. They had the coach of the year, Billy Phillips, defender of the year, Wes McLeod, goalkeeper of the year, Joe Papaleo, and the MVP, Tattoo. Storm up by one. They have the power play. Fernando Clavillo, middle of the floor with the ball. He's to Durant, left point. Right side, it's Godfrey Ingram. Ingram is about 15 feet inside the line. Back to Clavillo to Duran. Gives the ball to Claudio. Left wing boards to Duran. But Duran might wind up and shoot. Here's Fernando Clavillo with a shot. And he scores. Fernando Clavillo, a power play goal. And the Storm up by two at six to four. And the crowd here at the arena comes to its feet on a standing ovation. for the St. Louis Storm. They go up by a score of 6-4. to four, And you can be assured, Ron Jacoba, the Dallas Psychips will really be livid now as they trail by two, playing short-handed against the Storm on that particular occasion. They were livid about the call from the outset. They'll be even more so now. So the Storm, two for three on a power play tonight after only scoring one time in seven previous power play opportunities on the season. And Dallas had not given up a power play goal all year until tonight. So we're starting with a two-goal lead with 7.15 left in regulation. But let me tell you, this game is far from over. Down into the St. Louis end, Claudio and Edivera being roughed up down there by Kevin Smith. Claudio trying to run through and a foul called against Tattoo, an obstruction foul. Well, earlier on this season, Storms leading the Baltimore Blast 4-0 at halftime. The Blast comes back and scores 11 second-half goals. Darrell Duran has the ball in his own end. Gives it back to Slobo. 6.45 left in regulation. Slobo throws it up to Precky. Precky pops the ball in the air. Not very accurately, but Duran hustles over. Juggles the ball once, twice. Duran is so strong. Duran double-teamed along the boards. Loses it. Gets it back. Loses it again. Goes down and falls down. He's a whistle-stopping play, and a foul is called against Double D. Darrell Duran, the Storm's captain. Six and a half minutes exactly left in this one at the arena tonight. Boy, the people here have really enjoyed it. Down to Tattoo. Flavio marking him up along with Claudio de Oliveira. De Oliveira may be playing as hard tonight as I've seen him play all season. He's really working out there. Now, Dallas has it in his Tattoo. Left side of the box. Tattoo in heavy traffic. Has a shot blocked. Snyder gets it back. Shoves it to the top of the area. And Fernando Flavio has it. Fernando Flavio sprints down a floor. It's two on two. Here comes Flavio. Flavio trying it on the right side in the pass just behind it as Clavillo was knocked down on the play. Donegan wins the ball then loses it. Picked up by Kevin Smith who sends it back to Papaleo. This Fernando Clavillo is non-stop for the entire game. He works in the back. He brings the ball forward. He's tremendous going forward and really does so so quickly and so accurately. Here's Pedro De Brito. Has it knocked away from him in the St. Louis head and intercepted by Schmetzer. Yeah, the old steamer fans who remember the motor man, Tony Glavin, I guess you can draw the comparison. They play different positions, but they they run about the same way. Storm Precky kicks it back to Slobo off the backboard, throws it up to Godfrey Ingram. He chests it down, but couldn't control it. Then he was hit hard by Uremovic. Uremovic has the ball at the kickoff spot, middle of the floor. 5-19 left. Storm up by two at 6-4. Dallas led it 4-3 early in this quarter. On the left side, it's Marcelo Carrera. Carrera can't control it, can't do anything with it, sends it back to midfield to Mike Powers. Powers, left side for Dolly. Dolly marked by Durant, gets around Durant, Dolly into the box, he tried to cross it, kicked out of there by Schmetzer. Brecky has it, Brecky to Godfrey Ingram. Ingram knocked down, Schmetzer picks up the loose ball. Schmetzer double team along the near boards. Brian Schmetzer manages to kick it down to the Dallas red line, and he goes back on defense. Storm really have to tighten up the defense here, up by two, and uh, Joe Papaleo is signaling to the bench, wanting to know from his coach, Billy Phillips, when to call a timeout so they can get the sixth attacker out there with 4.30 remaining in regulation. Storm up by two. Dallas has the ball. Terry Brown steals it. Brown comes back the other way on a counterattack. Brown now slows it up a little bit across the floor to Precky. Precky has just one goal here tonight. Precky pushes it down to the right corner. Precky with a shot. Rebound off the backboards. And it's controlled by Dallas. Mark Fredrickson couldn't get to it. Now Freddie with a steal. Freddie loses the ball after he steals it to Greg Nichols, and then Mark Fredrickson is called on the foul. I don't know how many that is on Fredrickson, but I think it's, well, it's three. It's three. Fredrickson has to watch it. If he gets a fourth one, he will have to serve a two-minute penalty, and the Storm will have to play short. So he's going to have to play a little bit more conservatively here. Here's Tattoo. 
and Fredrickson comes in behind him and picks up the ball. Here's an example when Colvijo was beaten by a tattoo. Fredrickson leaves his man, comes over to help out his teammate on defense, and it paid dividends. He just knocked the ball back to Ilyevsky. Claudio De La Vera loses the ball. Here is Precky, top of the arc. Watch it. He shoots and Slobo makes a kick save. That time, Precky shot it right into the middle of the goal where Slobo was. Either side, he has scored. Down to Bobo Lusik. Lusik into the battle zone. Lusik fakes the shot. Now goes down deep, off the backboards. Try to play the ball to... Thompson, you see it, and the rebound off the boards went over Tobo's head. 3.20 left. Dallas owns the ball. It's Kevin Smith. Plays it back to his own line. We got the sixth attacker out there. Bill, do you know who it is? He's got the jersey on. Looks like it's probably Terry Woodbury. It's, it's, uh, it's Beto, right? Oh, is it Beto? Okay. Beto has, is the sixth attacker. Terry Brown kicks it down the floor. Oh, and it misses. He kicked it about 150 feet and missed by a foot on the left side as the Dallas goal is empty. With the sixth attacker, Beto, wearing that sixth attacker's shirt, a yellow shirt. He's the designated goalie, but he's involved in the offense. The Dallas goal is empty. 2.45 remaining in regulation. Dallas has the ball to St. Louis in. Here's a cross blocked by Fernando Covillo and kicked back to midfield. The ball comes off the boards at the midfield line, and Beto picks it up. He's the sixth attacker. It's six on five. 2.30 left. Storm up by two. Dallas has to go to that sixth attacker. They need a goal desperately here. Beto at the red line, middle of the floor, pushes it in, knocks it to the left side for Kevin Smith. Right side, it comes for Tattoo. Tattoo dances with the ball, Precky on it. Tattoo, just one way, then the other. Gives it to Beto. Now Kevin Smith. They're not getting any shots, but they're controlling the ball. Shot that time, and Sobo just saved it. The ball went between his legs, and he sat down on the ball. Now here's Precky kicking it down the floor, but back to get it is the sixth attacker, Beto. 158 left. Storm up by two. Hang on here. Beto pops it over left side for Kevin Smith. Back to Beto. Beto with the red line now on the right side. Back to Kevin Smith, top of the arc. Gives it down low to Tattoo. Tattoo with a shot and he scores. Beats Slobo and Slobo went down. Slobo went down, got a little bit of it, and it popped off the body of Slobo and into the goal and Tattoo has scored for the fourth time tonight and it's a 6-5 game and there's a minute 42 left as I said this game is not over far from being over around this guy is deadly in particular because on this play he was left alone if you leave him alone he is going to score in goal pure and simple and that's exactly what occurred there as he gets his fourth of the evening there's a timeout on the floor. The Storm called a timeout. Don Popovic standing down there with his hands in his pocket. <coughs> well, there's the situation. A minute 42 left in regulation. Tattoo has just scored his fourth goal of the night, and the Storm's lead is cut to 6-5. to five. Dallas still using the sixth attacker. Beto is the sixth attacker. He's back in the goal mouth now. He acts as the goalie, but he'll come forward. Storm will kick it off after the goal. A minute 42, Bill. And what you want, Ron, with an extra attacker is a field play who is comfortable and moving the ball quickly. Because that's what you have to do when you have the extra man. Duran has the ball along the right wing boards, along the, at the penalty box area. Crosses the ball to Precky across the floor. Precky back to Fernando Clavillo. We're down to 125. Clavillo to Dan Donegan in front of the St. Louis bench. Donegan double team, kicks it back to Precky. Brecky ahead to Daryl Loran. They have not been able to win the ball and get into their attack with the sixth attacker. Donegan now in the Dallas zone. Carries it back out. Kicks it back to Brecky in the neutral zone. Brecky across the floor to Fernando Clavillo. Clavillo having trouble with it. Clavillo goes down. Oh, and they're going to call a penalty against Fernando Clavillo. Clavillo and Pedro DeBrito just got tangled up is all it was. DeBrito goes down and a two-minute penalty called against Fernando Clavillo. Well, that was a make good call Ooh. based on the previous penalty against Dallas that was almost as bad a call as the other one they just got tangled up now what this means is Dallas continues to go with the sixth attacker and it will be in effect a two-man advantage a six on four as Fernando Clavillo goes to the penalty box to serve a two-minute penalty with 64 seconds left in regulation Clavillo oh. whistled up for that foul against Pedro Dorito and now Obviously, the sidekicks will keep Tattoo on the floor, try to get him down deep as close 
to the goal mouth as possible so he can either shoot or lay the ball off across the face of the goal or better yet, back deep so a teammate can run on to it for a shot. 60 seconds left. Dallas down by one goal. They've got a six on four advantage. They have the ball top of the top of the circle. Tattoo shoots and shoots over the top. He got a pass from the red line in the right corner. Trying to one time it on a side volley. Not a really a very good shot, quite frankly, for him. It would have been incredible had he scored, and he kicked it up over the top. So that gives the Storm the opportunity to eat up some time here. They'll have a goal kick with 53 seconds left. Dallas so far this year is four for seven when they have the extra man. And take a wild guess who scores the majority of those goals. You got that right. 53 seconds left. Dallas with a two-man advantage here because they're using a sixth attacker. Pedro, their sixth attacker, is back in the goal mount. Duran will kick the ball all the way down the floor. Thompson, you see him down there. The ball goes all the way down to the air, and Pedro has it. Pedro throws it up to Kevin Smith on the right side. Thompson, you see him down there running wildly, putting some pressure on. Dallas having trouble getting it up. Kevin Smith back to Pedro. 37 seconds left. Down the left side to Pedro DeVrito. Back to Pedro at the midfield line. Now right side Smith. He's got some space into the St. Louis zone. Down deep it goes. Now back to Beto at the right, at the red line. Over to Pedro DeVito. Down low to Patu. Tattoo scores! Or shoots it, almost scores. And Bruno Ferretti missed an open net. He missed an open net. Down to Tattoo, down low. He shoots and scores again! Tattoo scores with 15 seconds left. Off the back of Slobo Wilievski to tie the game. He hit it off the back of Slobo on the near side from the end boards from an impossible angle. He could not have scored had it not hit Slobo in the back. But it hits Lobo in the back. He scores, and this game is tied at six. Tattoo with five, count them, five goals on the night. His fifth of the evening with 15 seconds remaining. But again, he's left alone. However, he's left alone this time from a seemingly impossible angle from which to shoot. He curls it off the boards in the process, hits Slobo in the back at the near post boards, and somehow manages to get in the back of the goal. But good goal scorers score goals like that along with other goals of the incomparable variety. They'll get cheap ones as well. A fluke goal that was, but nevertheless, it's 6-6. Six to six. I don't understand how he hit Slobo in the back from that angle, but he did. Tattoo is fifth goal of the night from DeBrito. 15 seconds left and tied it. I just had, I almost said it, I just had a gut feeling when Lavio got the uh, the penalty that this game was going to be tied. Storm get it down into the Dallas end with eight seconds left. They lose it. Coming up the left side, a long ball intercepted by Fernando Clavillo. Clavillo with two seconds left. Shoots from midfield. The ball goes way up into the stands, and we are finished with regulation. We will go into sudden death overtime. You play till somebody wins. Sometimes it takes a long time. Last week in San Diego, it took 30. Eight goals a game. We have 12 here. They had 15 in Baltimore. All right, here we go. Sudden death overtime. Storm have it on the kickoff. Claudio kicks it down to the right side for Precky. Precky scored just 33 seconds into overtime in San Diego last Friday. Will the magic be there again? Dallas kicks it down to the St. Louis ends. Spencer has it there. Tattoo back on the floor. He'll live out there. Fredrickson kicks it down into the Dallas end for Godfringer. Went past him all the way to Papaleo. The tattoo up the left side. Fredrickson on him. Freddy and Tattoo go to the boards hard, and a foul is called against Tattoo this time. It's a get even call, huh? It'll be a foul against Tattoo in the St. Louis end. Fredrickson off the restart. Down to Claudio and Oliveira. Dallas a little slow getting back. Claudio into the Dallas zone. Pushes it to the right side. Down deep now. Claudio with a shot right on, and Papaleo makes the save. Shot by Claudio from a bad angle. Precky has it. Precky carries it across the floor, shoots, and misses by three feet on the far side. Now Fernando Clavillo with the rebound. At midfield, back to Mark Fredrickson. The St. Louis, out of St. Louis U. Down to Thompson, to Godfrey Ingram. Off to Claudio De Oliveira. De Oliveira in the corner. De Oliveira loses the ball. Picked off by Kevin Smith. Smith juggles it over the top of Fernando Clavillo. Comes to the near boards, double team, and splits the defense. It comes forward. They've got a man on the far side. It's Beto. Beto to the St. Louis red line, middle of the floor. Beto has it knocked away by Clavillo. Back to Powers. Tattoo has it now in the neutral zone. Watched by Godfrey Ingram. Tattoo just pops it over to Yuramovich. On the left side, it goes to Mike Powers. Powers in front of the penalty box, just holding the ball, waiting for his offense to start running. Gives it to Dolly, back to Powers. 
Now Dolly comes and right up to Powers and gets the ball. Storm spreading out their offense. Now it comes to the top of the arc to Pedro Debrito off to Dolly, and it's kicked away by Fernando Clavillo as they tried to run onto the ball. That was a well-designed play, but Fernando Clavillo was alert to it and kicked it away. Dallas doing an excellent job of keeping the ball here mm -hmm. at the outset of this overtime period. You keep the ball, you're going to win most of the time. It's Pedro Debrito in the left corner, now along the boards, kicks it back outside of the neutral zone. It's uh, number 12, Marcella Carrera. Carrera to DeBrito. DeBrito back to Carrera, but it's intercepted by Fernando Covillo, who anticipated that and ran on to it. Plays it back to Thompson to see it. Now to Godfrey Ingram. Ingram to Mark Fredrickson. Mark Fredrickson up to Precky. Precky had his back to the play, wasn't paying attention, and didn't get the ball. Now Precky comes back and steals it, though. Precky cuts the ball to Terry Brown. Brown to Spencer. Precky is tired. He wants to go to the bench. Donigan is on for him to Mark Fredrickson. We play two and a half minutes of overtime. Down to the right corner for Dan Donigan, the second year man out of the University of Connecticut. Donigan has it there. Off to Terry Brown. Brown is also a second year man. Brown loses the ball as he tried to send it across the floor, but Duran hustled over and intercepted. Now it's Brian Schmetzer for the start. Schmetzer tried to kick a long ball into the St. Louis end, and that pass was blocked. By and the Storm offensive players not coming back to meet their teammates. The Storm is having a difficult job getting the ball to their own backfield. Storm offensive players are going to have to come back and show, make it easier for the defense to get it out of their own end. Here's Spencer off the restart, kicks it all the way down to Papaleo. About 110 feet. Papaleo just lays the ball off, and Dallas owns it in their own end. Storm fall back on defense. They don't, they're not using any high pressure, picking up their man, man, man to man at midfield. Down to Tattoo. Duran takes the ball away from Tattoo and plays it back to Slobo. Great work by Duran there, not allowing Tattoo to turn and go at him. Spencer kicks it ahead of Boba Lusik. Pops the ball one time over to Donigan. Donigan to Terry Brown. Brown right side to Daryl Duran. Duran to the red line. Duran top of the arc. Pushes it into the right corner. Donigan had it and uh, tried to feed Terry Brown, but Brown didn't anticipate that play, and Tattoo has it. Back the other way for Dallas. The side kicks. Tattoo with five goals here tonight. Has the ball just outside the red line. Being watched by Brown. Right side to Mike Powers. The St. Louis at Powers. Has it along the boards. Now plays it back to Beto. Outside the red line. Beto. Middle of the floor. Now down deep in the right corner. Tattoo tried it one time, but it fanned on it. And a handball called against Dallas. And the Storm will have a restart out of their own zone. It's Mark Fredrickson outside his red line. Kicks it down the right side, but kicks it up over the glass into the crowd. And a kick in for Dallas out of their own zone. Dallas has controlled the ball about 80% of the time here in the first four minutes and eight seconds of overtime. Exactly right. They've kept the ball, and consequently, they've applied all the pressure at the outset of this extra time period. It's times like this when you find out how fit you are. Into overtime. A lot of quick changes are necessary, too. Quick player changes to keep some fresh legs out there. DeBrito just plays keep away with Papaleo. Now Papaleo throws it down the left side to Carrera. Carrera loses the ball. Spencer takes it away to Fredrickson. Over to Boba Lucic. Lucic to Freddy. Freddy just inside the midfield line. Right side. Before Spencer down low to Thompson, you see him along the end boards. Thompson down there, double team, plays it back to Spencer. Spencer ran onto it and shot it way wide. Bobalusic with a rebound. Duck to Claudio de Oliveira outside the red line to Mark Fredrickson. Freddy volleys it down into the corner, intended for Thompson, you see it. Dallas wins the ball, but Bobalusic comes over, almost got it, and then lost it. Dallas kicks it down to four. Fredrickson back for it, though, and kicks it back to Slobo. Slobo. Out of the box, so he can't handle the ball. Gives it to Fredrickson up the left wing board. It's pretty long ball down in the right corner of Dallas. Thompson, you see him down there. Thompson, though, loses it to Mike Powers, but a foul called against Powers. That's a break for the Storm, because Powers had won the ball. Now St. Louis will have a free kick in the Dallas zone. 9.51 remaining in sudden this first sudden of overtime period. Thompson, you see it, will take this free kick off to Duran. Duran to Boba Lusick. Lusick. Has the ball inside the red line. Turn, shoots, and hits the glass above the crossbar. Pushed the ball from his left foot to his right foot and just hammered it and shot it high. Storm play it down to Slobo. Slobo to Duran. Duran to Schmetzer. Schmetzer across the floor again to Duran. High pressure here by the sidekicks. Back to Slobo.
Lobo with the ball in the penalty area. Kicks it ahead for Claudio de Oliveira. He loses it from behind. Claudio then with a good tackle wins the ball. Claudio then taken down on the play. That was much more flagrant than the penalty called against Fernando Clavillo near the end of regulation. But yeah, just a, going forward, clearly tripped. Daryl Duran kicks it to the red line, headed back out by Dallas. Storm just not creating anything right now. Dolly to the St. Louis red line. Dolly gives it right side, off the backboards. It is Uramovich. He can't get the shot off to Pedro. Pedro marked up by Claudio de Oliveira. Godfrey Ingram stole it momentarily, kicked it back to the neutral zone. Here's the right wing boards. Here's Tattoo. Watch him here. Gets around Bobo Lusik. Tattoo, top of the arc. Gives it down low for Beto. He could not shoot. Beto, heel pass in the corner. And uh, off the backboards. Ball rips around the boards to the near corner. Loose ball there. Duran hammers it off the glass, as you can hear. Back outside the red line. Snyder has it. And Dallas continues to control the ball. There's Beto. 15 feet from the red line. Lays it off. Here's McLeod in the box. A shot and Slobo makes a save on Tattoo. A little heel shot by Tattoo. Claudio de Oliveira loses it. Here's Smith over to Tattoo again. Tattoo has it top of the box. Tattoo off to Schneider. They shoot and they score off of Duran. And Dallas wins the game. The ball went in off of Duran and Dallas wins it in sudden death overtime. A final score is Dallas 7 and the Storm 6. This is St. Louis Storm Soccer. Some strange stuff. Well, he's an amazing individual. He thrives on very little sleep and very little food. He, he barely eats. Yeah. And, uh, and it keeps him quick, I guess, because he's still pretty difficult to put the ball past. He's, uh, his pregame meal is apple pie, alamode, and a glass of milk. <laughs> I'm not sure that would be recommended by the Society of American Athletic Trainers, but it works for Slobo. <laughs> All right, Gary Heal. Former star is on the field. Former Storm player now playing for the Stars, and he's been on fire. He has nine points in his last two games. He had a five-goal game recently, and Gary is really playing very well for this low-scoring Tacoma team. Their leading scorer is Kia with nine goals and eight assists for 17 points. Compare that to Precky with 26 goals and 19 assists for 45 points. But they have won nine games. All right, we're underway here at the arena. Brian Schmetzer intercepts a Tacoma pass at midfield off to Precky. Precky gets around Milano. Precky down low. Here's a shot by David Eyes. And a good save right off the bat by Vaccaro. Vaccaro stopped that hard left footer from David Eyes and popped it into the corner. Now there's a foul down there in the corner. Claudio De Oliveira. I'll check it. It was Brian Schmetzer. That was Claudio. The way he was brought. Claudio got a yellow card last night. And I said, what did you say to the official? And I can't repeat it on the air, but you can about imagine what it was. Here's the restart. Precky to Schmetzer. Poor pass, soft pass, stolen away by Gary Heal, who's sprinting down the floor. The ball got too far ahead of him, though, and Fernando Clavillo went back to recover it and played it back to Slobo. Claudio has a problem of talking too much sometimes to officials. Long ball down to Precky. Precky headed it down. Precky goes into the corner with it. Precky trying to get it off the backboards, and he's fouled over there by Ralph Black. So it'll be a free kick from the, for the Storm near the corner kick spot on the left side. Ralph Black, who is Tacoma's captain, wearing the armband. Now, he saw a chance to get a good flick in on Precky, try to slow him up, got him up against the boards and, and knocked him, gave him a good shot to his ankle, but Precky looks all right, but uh, defenders will do that. Storm has every right to be tired tonight. Here is the restart. Thompson, you see it, tried to volley in the middle. It was blocked out of there, came right to Precky. He one-timed it with a bit of a side volley, went off of a Tacoma player, went off of Bill Crook, and up over the glass and into the crowd. Bill Crook, a fine defender for this Tacoma Star team. Neil Megson was supposed to play here tonight, but he was scratched. Megson had been out almost a year with reconstructive knee surgery. He's played four or five games, but they're bringing him back very slowly. He's also a fine player, fine defender for him, and they have really missed him. 
All right, here's the restart. Stone on the way by Tacoma. Greg Ian gets it. Loose ball midfield over against the boards in front of the Tacoma bench. And Dragicevic plays it back to Daryl Duran. And Duran goes back to Slobo. Slobo one times it up the right side for Double D. Daryl Duran, the storm captain. He hits it along the boards for Thompson. You see, and you see, and is tripped up on the play by Tacoma. By Bill Crook. Fouled against Crook, and we'll have a restart for the start. Now, the Tacoma Stars, something like the St. Louis Storm, have several Seattle area natives on their team. They've got at least three or four guys who learned their soccer in the Seattle Tacoma area. The Storm have five players from St. Louis under contract currently. Well, Brian Schmetzer, uh, who plays for the Storm now, is from that area. In fact, he has twin brothers, also played at Tacoma last year. They had three Schmetzers on the same team. Only one of them left, and he's not in the lineup here tonight. He's been injured. The other Schmetzer is playing in Cleveland. Is that right? That's right. All right, here's Freddie Thompson, who had two goals against the Storm in in Tacoma with the restart. But Precky heads the ball off the red line back to midfield. On the far side, it's Waters. Waters trying to jam it in. Daryl Oran has it. Knocked off his foot. Turn. And a shot from a tough angle of the corner. Slobo grabs it on one bounce and throws it up the right side for Dragicevic. Emil on the run up the near side. And he is fouled on the play, pushed down on the play by Joe Waters. And Emil leaves the floor for Claudio De Oliveira at midfield. Dragicevic has been playing very well as a pretty much of a defensive midfielder. He's Perky to the red line. Double teamed as it knocked off his foot. Gets it back. Goes to the corner. Perky along the end. Boards and he tried to shoot and virtually fanned on it. Just got a little bit of it. And then there's a foul against the Storm in the Tacoma end. And the Stars will have a free kick down there. It'll be interesting to see how much stamina St. Louis has tonight after playing last night. Tacoma hasn't played since last weekend. So they should be well rested although they did have a long trip in here. But the, star, the Storm with three games in four nights. Sunday might be the night they really feel it. Here's a ball thrown to midfield. Claudio De Oliveira had it momentarily lost it. Ralph Black kicks it into the St. Louis zone. And the ball is kicked out of play by Fernando Clavillo from the red line as he got it right in the face, his foot up in the face of Gary Heal. Heal, I think, would have preferred a whistle at that point. But in effect, they get the same thing with a kick in. As far as playing three games in four nights, the good part is, including this game, the next five, are at home, and that makes a big difference that you don't have to travel. You're right. In addition to playing several games in a short period of time. A lot more rest at home than if you have to travel. Tacoma starts the ball, gets it in the St. Louis end, but it's played back to Slobo. 12.35 left here in the first quarter of play. There is no score. Slobo kicks it to midfield over the head of Dan Donigan, and Tacoma has it. It's Ralph Black up the near boards for Gary Heal, but a foul called against Tacoma, so it's a free kick for the Storm right in front of the St. Louis bench. Like here's to give you an idea of the type of season that Precky's having. He's only two goals away from establishing a Storm single-season record. Uh, or actually t tying, I think, Thompson yeah. Usein's total for last year, who led the team in goals with 28 last season. Well, Precky played, already has 26. And we played about a quarter of the season. <laughs> There's a foul down to the left corner in Tacoma. And it's got and was fouled on the ball coming off the boards. And the officials are calling this game very closely here in the early, early going. Last night in Dallas. They just let all kinds of rough play go. So you just never know from game to game how closely they're going to call it. And sometimes they'll call a lot closer in the first period tie to just to establish things. Here is Fernando Covillo off the end boards on the restart. And it's headed back out to midfield by Tacoma. Out back in, but Gary Heal picks it up for the Stars. Heal coming forward, runs past Claudio de Oliveira, approaches the red line. Gary Heal into the St. Louis zone, down low to Freddie Thompson off the end boards. And Heal was in too deep, couldn't handle it. Ball went to Donegan. Now to David Eyes. Eyes back to Donegan. Donegan at his own red line. Tried to hit it off the boards. Got it the second time. But Willie Milano has it. He loses it. And it's picked up by Godfrey Ingram. Once again to David Eyes. Eyes under some pressure from Freddie Thompson. Passes it back to the St. Louis red line. To Donegan. Now to Daryl Loran. Loran has a little space across the midfield line. Cuts it around one player. Gives the ball to Dan Donegan. Donegan has to carry it almost back to midfield. Now to Eyes. Eyes' his pass hits Milano. And it's intercepted by Tacoma, and Milano has it. Milano into the St. Louis zone, but it's intercepted by Dan Donegan, who plays it back to Slobo Wilievsky. Donegan tracked back well there in order to intercept that pass. Momentarily, there was Radwanski run in from behind him, but uh, his positioning was good enough to cut it out. There's Precky with a give and go to Claudio De Oliveira. Claudio tried to jam it on to Thompson. You see it, the target man in the Tacoma end. 
and he lost it. The ball never got to him. Ball on the far side. Couple players collide heavily. Brecky has it. Brecky to the red line. Brecky cuts it to the top of the arc, trying to jam it through. Went down on the play, and the ball is cleaned down the floor by Tacoma. Brecky only had three more to beat there, and it looks like he was, he was about to do it. He was just about to do it. He had walked through half of the team already with some marvelous dribbling. Now Tacoma on the attack to the red line. It's Steve Kinsey. Kinsey down to the right corner for Greg Ein. Crosses to Kinsey, and he scores on a header. Nice ball off the end boards, and Kinsey scored on a header. Steve Kinsey picking up his sixth goal of the year, and Tacoma gets the early lead, and one nothing. This is St. Louis Storm soccer. Well, as St. Louis has been wont to do in recent games, they fall behind early, and they seem to play better after they get behind. Barry Brown loses it in the corner, and Greg Ian picks it up in his own end and plays it back to Chris Vaccaro. Vaccaro comes into the game with a record of 8-5 and five and a goals against of only four a game, and with a bigger goal. That is really a remarkable total time. Also talking about going down by one goal early, Speaking to Don Popovic before the game, he was saying, and this is part of the confidence we talked of at the beginning of the game, the team's not that worried if they go down by even a couple goals. They've got Precky on their side. The goals seem to come, so they're almost better off being behind. It seems like they've got more problems defending yeah. leads. Yeah, no question about that, especially against the six attacker. Gave up another six attacker goal last night in Dallas. Here's Schmetzer kicking it down to the left corner for Thompson. Do you see it? you see it pulled out of the plate? Schmetzer with a foul! And Vaccaro makes the save. Ball deflects high in a corner. Precky chests it down. Precky trying to carry it out top of the box. His shot is blocked. It comes to Spencer. He heads it down to Fernando Clavillo down to the corner, but the ball was too long, and Vaccaro came out and grabbed it. Chris Vaccaro in goal for Tacoma tonight. He's played every game this season. Fernando Clavillo missed on a steal attempt. And Gary Heal back the other way off to Willie Milano at the top of the box. And Spencer kicked it away nicely from him. Ryan Spencer had his best game of the season last night at Dallas. Here's Milano, top of the arc. Right side, Heal, he scores. Gary Heal scores from the right side. And it's 2-0 Tacoma. As Heal got that ball, nobody had him marked up over there. And he buried it in the left corner, in the far corner. And it's quickly 2-0 Tacoma with 9-20 left here in the first quarter of play. And the Storm have come out somewhat asleep. Well, it's far too early to despair. Number one, this Tacoma team has not played since December 1st, so they're bound to be a little fresher. The Storm traveled this morning from Dallas. It's a tough place to win down there. They were able to work their way into a, a win last night. It's going to take them a little while to find their legs here. I think they will, and they certainly have the potential to score goals. All right, here we go. Kick off Tacoma with an early 2-0 lead. Dergisevic plays it back to Slobo. He kicks it up the right side and kicks it out of play as he was under some pressure down there from Eddie Radwanski. Radwanski came flying in right in his face, and Slobo had to get rid of it as, as quickly as he could and kicked it down the floor and out of play. Uh, when Slobo was still Yugoslavian, he used to dribble guys when they came in like yeah. that. But now that he's American, he can't do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> he got smarter. <laughs> instead of taking those chances. In one day. <laughs> All right, here's the kick in for Tacoma. Along the near boards, it's Ralph Black starting it at a foul call against Mark Fredrickson. By the way, Fredrickson needs one block to become only the second player in the history of the league with 800 blocks. He's played two games without getting one. He actually had one last night. They didn't give him credit for it. Down in the Tacoma ends the ball and a foul called against Tacoma. And it'll be a free kick for the Storm out of their own end. Late in the game, he had a block. It was pretty apparent, but they didn't credit him with Well, that. that's the funny thing about those uh, block shot statistics. It, it seems like you, you get a lot more of it home than you do on the road, and that's always been the case. Here's Duran from his red line, kicking at midfield, but he didn't get it high enough, and it was intercepted again by Tacoma. Picked off by Dick McCormick. Now back to Willie Milano, one of the classy players in this league. Back to Nicky Ristic. Ristic back to his keeper. Vaccaro outside the box to midfield. Intercepted by Duran to Donegan. Back to Duran. Duran squares the ball. Donegan top of the arc. Right side, Dragicevic. Emil cuts it back to Donegan. Donegan down low. Should have taken the shot and didn't. He tried to feed Godfrey Ingram. Planted down on the post, but there were 
Too many bodies between Donegan and Ingram. Here is Fredrickson up the near side. Good ball to Dan Donegan. Donegan had a goal last night in Dallas. His pass to Jagisevitz went, went off the mark. Loose ball along the near board. Jagisevitz wins it. And there is a foul called against Tacoma on Dan Donegan away from the ball. So it'll be a kick in for the Storm or a free kick from the Storm right near the red line. Over to Fredrickson. Freddie down into the Tacoma end to Godfrey Ingram. He couldn't control the ball. And it's picked off by the Tacoma Stars. Loose ball still in the Tacoma end. Duran wins it, juggles it off his leg, off his head, and over to Jerkisovic. He heads it down to Fredrickson. Mark Fredrickson down in the left corner for Daryl Duran. Duran strong on the boards with Mark Carpenter on him. Duran tries to pull it through, does jam it through. Duran in low, and a shot by Donegan goes wide. Another shot, and they score. Got for Ingram, got the loose ball from Dan Donegan. And it's a 2-1 game. Just good hard work, primarily caused by Daryl Duran, who will not get an assist on the play, but he created it. Just fantastic work by Daryl Duran, and not just grit, effort, and strength. He had a good idea in his mind. His spin move that he pulled out of Vaccaro is what really kept the play alive, and he was able to get the ball back out front. It finally popped out to Ingram, who put it away, but it was Duran with that spin move. He put it back. Got for Ingram's 12th goal of the season from Dan Donegan. Cuts the Tacoma lead at 2-1 to one here at the arena. And kind of brought the crowd alive and probably the team alive. Slobo kicks the ball to midfield. Didn't get it out. Gary Heal heads the ball down to Greg Ian. Ian tried to get it to the top of the box. Goes to the right side to Heal. Claudio de Oliveira over there. Claudio makes a good steal. Kicks it all the way across the floor to Precky. He's got Thompson, you see, in with him. Precky top of the arc. Precky dangerous, and he scores! Precky carried it from the boards to his favorite position, just at the top of the restraining arc, and he's tied the game very quickly. What a marvelous, world-class soccer player that young man is. Well, watching Billy Crook, the Tacoma defender, he's just shaking his head because there's nothing he could have done. The move was so good, the change of pace by Brecky, and we talked about this before the game started, how Brecky could pick corners, because he didn't even hit that ball that hard. No. He leaned a little bit, he got Vaccaro to move to the one side, and he just slotted it to the opposite side. He never kicks the ball in the middle of the goal. Picks those corners. So it's quickly tied. The storm to come alive. Oh, his 27th of the season, number 11, Frecky. Assisted by number six, Claudio de Oliveira. And that ties the game. Frecky has the ball. Good pass midfield to Terry Brown. Brown down off the boards to Thompson, D.C. and leaves it there for Daryl Duran. Back to Toma, a little too far ahead of him. And the ball is played around the boards to Chris Vaccaro. So quickly, and the storm can do that. They can score so fast. Highest scoring team in the league, and they have tied it here in a flash. Now the ball to the St. Louis red line. It's won there by David Eyes, who is playing much better in recent games. Really, he's a strong player, and he's using that strength, and he's got some pretty good speed. Eyes across the floor to Daryl Duran in his own zone. Duran just plays it back to the penalty area to Slobo. You know, Ron, with the addition of David Eyes now in the back, the Storm are able to play with a rotation of five defenders, and that's very important when you're playing three games in four days. They can rotate these guys through and just get a little bit more rest in there, which could be all the difference. Ball up the near boards to Prucky. That time, Nicky Ristick played him, and the ball rolled off of Prucky's foot as he tried to make a cut, but it's still no way by Thompson. You see it. Tomo tried to get it back to Prucky. It's knocked away. Claudio, or Fernando Clavillo has it. Over to Prucky again. Prucky trying to split the defense, trying to walk to through two players has it knocked away but it's Fernando Clavillo with it off to David Eyes at the red line Eyes middle of the floor Eyes goes into the left corner with it for Thompson you see it Tomo who is one of the better target players in the league he's really good with his back to the goal now Tomo goes to the boards with it off to Precky at the red line Precky sends it into the corner it is loose over there Ristic comes up with it he's being hounded by Terry Brown Ristic to the red line cleans it out and up the right wing boards is Eddie Redwanski he's one on four as Tacoma is changing. Redwanski, though, into the corner, and he nearly scored from a tough angle. Just missed the left post as he went for the far post. Now here is Redwanski again, playing it back outside to Bill Crook. Crook down into the right corner for another player. Now Redwanski has it there. Redwanski back to Crook, and Redwanski goes to the bench to be replaced by Gary Heal. 4.53 left in the first quarter. We're tied at two. Here's Fernando Clavillo knocking a ball away. Slobo goes to the edge of the box and grabs it. And then just lays it down. Nobody to pass it to. Slobo still has it there, and he did not get rid of it in five seconds. 
This and is dangerous. He's called on a legal procedure. You don't like to give these up. And not to take anything away from the Storm's comeback here in the first quarter, but we've not seen Kia step on the field for Tacoma, their leading scorer. And he is on our score sheet as one of the players suited up, but I can't find him on the bench either. We're, that is a good point. We're I... trying to find out right now. We're calling down to the press box if anyone knows what the situation is there. That is a good point. I didn't realize that, but you're right. And he is nowhere on the bench. All right, the free kick comes from the top of the arc. Willie Milano, and he hit the wall with the shot. Now it goes to the far side, and a handball called against Milano as the ball came right back to him and hit him on the arm. On that illegal procedure, they, they give you the free kick from the top of the restraining arc. On other illegal procedures, the three-line pass, and when the ball hits the scoreboard, that kind of thing, it comes from the red line. Here's a loose ball at the red line. Duran knocks it back out, and Brian Schmetzer has it there. Schmetzer. Squares the ball to Dragicevic across the floor nicely to Godfrey Ingram in front of the penalty box. Ingram ahead to Donegan. Donegan pops it back to midfield. Godfrey goes back to the midfield line to get it. Ingram sends it in on goal, and Vaccaro makes the easy save. Godfrey tried to hit it off the end boards, and he just had a little too much spin on the ball, a little too much curve on it, went right to Vaccaro. Now along the near board, Dragicevic with a steal off to Donegan. Donegan to do it. He had Ingram running right for the goal, and the ball, the pass was perhaps two feet too far in front of him. A counterattack by Tacoma. Slobo off the mark, in the corner, kicks it first time high in the air, and he hustles back in the goal. Willie Milano has it for the Tacoma Stars. Off to Redwanski. Eddie Redwanski trying to jam it through, gets around Schmetzer, and Schmetzer is going to get a penalty. Schmetzer tripped him up. Redwanski may have taken a bit of a dive on the play, but Schmetzer got him on the ankles. That's a bit harsh there because it did not look deliberate. Schmetzer got there slightly late and barely clipped him. And Tacoma will have their first power play opportunity when we come back after this break. It's 2-2 in the first period. This is St. Louis Storm Soccer. Well, how many players do they have to rest? That's what we got to figure out. Yeah. Here. Now there's only five counting the keeper right now. You're listening to St. Louis Storm Soccer on KGLD in St. Louis. We'll have Sunday's game right here on KGOLD again. Here's the restart off the power play, a shot, and it's blocked by Fredrickson, and that should be the 800th block of his career. Storm clear it back to the red line. Willie Milano has it there just outside the red line. Cuts it to the right wing boards. Milano gets it back. Six feet from the red line, dribbles the ball to the red line. In the left corner to Ralph Black, his shot off the end boards. Rebound comes through. Crook with a shot, and he scores. Bill Crook one timed it off the end boards from about 40 feet, and a power play goal for the Tacoma Stars, and they take a 3 2 lead. Storm not particularly good when they're short handed. That's the 11th power play goal they've given up in 22 opportunities this season, so they're only killing off half of them. And it really didn't look very good. The ball was not hit that well, really, by Kirk. It was placed pretty well in the upper corner, but I think Slobo was, was well screened. Fredrickson standing to that side. The ball just barely cleared Fredrickson's head and just popped up into the upper corner of the goal. So it's a 3-2 Tacoma lead. Spencer kicks it into the right corner for Thompson. You see him, but he has a man standing right in front of him, and it is Ralph Black, and Black kicks it back to midfield. Trugis, if it's back there, kicks it back to Slobo. Slobo across the floor. For Fernando Clavillo. Back to Slobo. Back to Clavillo. You see, you're being hounded down there. Now Clavillo kicks it all the way down to the red line, headed down there, but it comes right to Dragicevic. He heads it to the far board. Schmetzer off the boards, intended for Precky. Goes past him, and Radwanski has it at his own red line. Back to Vaccaro. Vaccaro over to Ralph Black. Black out of his own end, kicks it all the way down the floor. Freddie Thompson running for it. Slobo off his mark, heads it ahead to Fernando Clavillo. Clavillo cuts the ball past Thompson and gives it across the floor for Schmetzer. He has to wait for the ball off the four boards. Brian Schmetzer across the midfield line. Kick it from the left side to the right side to Duran. Freddie Thompson on him. Duran tried to hit Thompson. You see him down in the Tacoma end. It was knocked away as the defenders are stepping in front of Thompson and intercepting those balls. Now here's Dragicevic making a steal at his red line. Plays it back to Slobo. Just rolls it ahead for Schmetzer. Schmetzer's heading for the bench for a rest. Emil Dragicevic. At the Storm logo, kicks it down into the left corner for Thompson. Do you see it? Tomo juggles it once, juggles it twice, chests it down, gives it off to Dragicevic. He shoots, and a save by Vaccaro. Vaccaro just got his left hand on it. 
Well, that was a pretty ball handling by Thompson, you see. And, and Dragicevic, had he got a little more on the ball, would have scored. Didn't hit it very hard. He did put it in the corner, though, and Vaccaro really stretched for it. Here's Milano down low off the end boards, and the rebound flies through the penalty area and goes to the far boards. Crook and Duran go for it. Duran and Crook still fighting for the ball. Loose ball and a shot by Milano with an open goal. And he missed on the far side. Mark Carpen has the ball at the red line. Kicks it across the floor for Crook. Bill Crook comes all the way back to Black across the midfield line. Black being held up by Claudio De Oliveira. Now it's headed down at the red line by Kinsey in the star meter set. But Black, oh, Black missed the ball. And Godfrey Inger picks it up. Down to Claudio De Oliveira. He's got Crook on him. Back to Precky. Precky at midfield. Precky gives the ball to Mark Fredrickson. Freddy to the red line on the dribble. Back to Claudio. Claudio back to Fredrickson outside in the neutral zone. Uh, Fernando Clavillo as the Storm get their offense set to Precky. Precky has the ball go past him as Milano was marking him up, but the ball comes right back to Precky along the near boards. He tries to walk past Milano, and Milano with an obstruction, and he's going to get two. Well, that wasn't, that was a little weak also. That was about as weak, well, maybe weaker right. than Spencer. Well, that but makes it even, I guess. I think they even it up, so the Storm will have a power play opportunity here with only 54 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. That was a little weak. Uh, there was obstruction there. It should have been a foul. But whether there should have been a two-minute penalty. But that's their call, not ours, and I won't dwell on it. Well, I, I think in both cases, what the referees are looking at is that the player was beaten. In other words, Rod Rodwanski was past Spencer, and in this one, Precky was past Milano. So in order to, to give fair due to the fans who are here to see good attacking soccer, they want to penalize teams that are taking out a player who's just beaten one of his opponents. So You could say Precky was not in scoring position in there, but well, he's he was in scoring position anywhere. everywhere. Exactly, exactly. Now, this is, this has been a great game, the way it's shaping up. You've got, these teams are both 6-4 and four in their last 10 games, and this is virtually, as we mentioned, a battle for the number one spot in the Western Division. So, the divisional lead is at stake here, and we've got five goals already in the first quarter. Storm scoring 43% of the time on the power play, 12 out of 28, and Tacoma's killed off six of 13. They haven't had many penalties this year. They've only had 13 power plays against. Here's Fernando Clavillo to Godfrey in the corner, back to Fernando with the red line. Clavillo to Darrell Duran. Duran down to the left corner for Claudio De Oliveira. Back to Duran. He's going to run onto it. Shoot! And it's blocked, and it goes back to midfield. Blocked by Bill Crook. Duran goes back to get the ball. Across the floor to Godfrey Ingram at the right point. Ingram to Duran at the left point. Duran's pass intercepted by Redwanski. And then Duran commits the foul as Darrell made a bad pass there. And it'll be a free kick for the Stars out of their own end. And the free kick was not a good one to say the least. Ralph Black kicked it down the floor, off the floor, over the glass giving the Storm a free kick back in the Tacoma end. About all Ralphie Black out of that one was a breather while they retrieved the ball in the stands. They looked like he needed it after that miscue. Well, actually, the free kick doesn't come from the Tacoma end. It comes where it went out of bounds, which is all the way near the St. Louis red line. Minute 31 left on the power play for St. Louis. Only 25 seconds remaining in the period. Tacoma has a 3-2 lead. Tacoma almost had too many players on the field as... Freddie Thompson went on and came back off. Fortunately for him, he did it before the whistle blew. Fernando Clavillo, oh, across the floor to Darrell Duran. Duran back to Clavillo near the midfield line. Fernando approaches the red line to Ingram at the right point. Not for Ingram with the ball on his right foot. Across to Darrell Duran. Duran back to Fernando Clavillo. 11 seconds left. Down low, Thompson, you see him back to Duran. Duran down low to Claudio De Oliveira. Back to Duran, left footer. And it's blocked by Redwanski. With two seconds left, it's headed back to the red line. And the quarter is over. When we start the second quarter, Storm... The Spencer was off, so uh, we'll have to see the Storm. Now I have a chance to take that back the other way. They have a power play at the beginning of the second quarter here. There's no question that Zoltan Toth is in Don Popovic's mind, the number one keeper, but his knee is not such that he can play back-to-back -back games. He had knee surgery in November, had neck surgery to remove a disc from his neck. The neck is fine. The knee has given him a lot of problems. He's had to have it drained a few times. It's very sore today. In addition to that, uh, his leg is sore because there was some atrophy there, and he's just not in great shape. So they're hoping that by playing him last night, giving him tonight off, he can play on Sunday. We're underway. Second quarter. Storm have a minute left on their power play. Duran right side to Godfrey Ingram. Thompson, you see, leads the league in power play goals with five. He's on the floor. Duran 
to Fernando Covillo. He shoots, and it's blocked by Redwanski. Redwanski juggles the ball, can't win it. Godfrey Ingram volleys it into the top of the box area, and it's headed back to Duran. Duran squares it to Claudio De Oliveira. Now Darrell gets it back. Claudio in the left corner. Claudio walks out to Duran. Duran back to Claudio. Claudio down low. Thompson, you see it back to Duran. Duran lost it. Couldn't shoot. And now Fernando Clavillo shot and shot wide with a hard shot. Duran wanted to run onto it and shoot, but the ball was just a little too far ahead of him. Some good opportunities, though. 25 seconds left in the power play. Duran to Gottfried Ingram down right corner. Back to Fernando Clavillo. Clavillo lost the ball, and Chris Vaccaro comes out and dives out on it, throws it up the right side. It was it would have been a two-on-one had he been able to hit his man breaking down the right side, Bill Crook, but couldn't find him. Only nine seconds remaining on the power play as Ingram sprints to the red line on the dribble. Got for Ingram. Cuts it to Precky. Precky, the top of the restraining guard, goes right side, shoots and shoots high and wide. Rebound comes back to Tacoma, and there's a man coming out of the penalty box. It's Willie Milano, and he's got a breakaway down the goal. Shoots, and Slobo makes a diving save. Actually, it appeared that he was trying to feed Freddie Thompson, running to the right post, and Slobo intercepted it with a diver. Now here's Precky to Thompson, you see it. Across the floor to Mark Fredrickson, back at the midfield line to Brian Smetzer. Tacoma's back to full strength now after killing off that storm power play. Claudio De Oliveira, left wing boards. Being marked up by Ralph Black. Claudio gets it down to Thompson. You see it back to Claudio. He shoots and scores. Great give and go from Thompson. You see it to Claudio De Oliveira, and the game is tied. A trademark. Claudio De Oliveira goal. He's so good on the quick give and goes in a tight space. He follows it in well, and then with that left foot, just gets a toe on it. The toe poke, he got it in through Vaccaro's legs. It carried on, hit part of the post on its way in, but he's so quick with that left foot, and when it popped back out to him, you knew he was going to get the toe on it, and his toe ball is so hard to read for goalkeepers, it just dips and knuckles, and it was straight in there. Yeah, you never, it never goes straight, does it, when you no. check it with your toe? Storm tie goal. Number six, Claudio De Oliveira, his Sixth goal of the season. Assisted by number 20, Thompson Ucian. Time of the goal. So Claudio gets number six, and that ties the game. Tacoma's been in front three times in this game. I guess in the storm can well, it was two-nothing. Then two-two, now three-two, now three-three. Got for Ingram to the red line. Knocked down on the play by Nikki Ristic, and Ristic is gonna get two-minute penalty. So the storm will have another power play opportunity, and Godfrey gets up. Shaking his right arm and shoulder. Ristic took him down pretty hard, and Godfrey went down on that right shoulder. So St. Louis will immediately go back on the power play. And, and when you can get them almost back to back like this, Ty, it's really good because the defense and usually teams use the same penalty killers get a little tired. Plus, you've gotten a little bit of rhythm yourself with your own power play unit. And the Storm did, did not score, but they did work the ball extremely well. So maybe they can get more chances. Or the other thing is, you're just going to fatigue the whole Tacoma team because they're going to be playing now a total of four minutes a man short out of the last five and they only have 14 players suited up as we've been able to see so far Kia not suited up apparently and we don't know why here we go power play St. Louis Daryl Durant at the red line near the restraining arc kicks it to the right wing boards to Godfrey Ingram back to Fernando Covillo to Durant Durant down low Claudio De Oliveira De Oliveira tried to cross it to Godfrey Ingram coming from the right side never got through an intercept and kick down the floor. One other thing, Ron, is for Tacoma, when you're killing so many penalties, it throws your whole rhythm off. You've got a yeah. lot of guys getting cold, guys that aren't penalty killers on the bench, getting out of their, their really their rhythm. Claudio De Oliveira, left wing boards, carries it out top of the box. Duran, Duran right side, Fernando Clavillo. Clavillo pushes it to the right corner, and he was knocked down hard on the play by Redwanski. Redwanski goes to the boards. Thompson, you see it over there. Godfrey Ingram over there, rather, and Ingram is fouled by Ralph Black. So it'll be a free kick for the Storm along the right wing boards. A lot of people, when you watch this power play, you want to say shoot, shoot, shoot. But the Storm, their theory on power plays is ball movement. They move it till they get the good shot. Now Fernando Clavillo, top of the arc to Darrell Duran. Left wing boards, Claudio. Back to Duran. Duran had trouble with it, but did get it over to Claudio. Back to Double D. Duran outside the red line to Fernando Clavillo. He's got some space. Right wing boards. Godfrey Ingram off the end board. Comes to Duran, and he scores! Darrell Duran, a storm captain, a power play goal. And St. Louis has taken a 4-3 lead. Duran doesn't score often, but he made no mistake about that one. Uh, he buried it. 
And it was Ingram from the corner who played the ball off the boards. And it, it really looked like there was nobody there, but the ball leaked all the way out to near the top of the box. And that's where Duran was waiting. He cocked back with the right foot, just hammered it into the near side of the net. season number seven Daryl Duran assisted by number eight Godfrey Ingram there is a timeout on the floor and Tacoma has called a timeout we'll take a 30 he's necessary for defender. he's very hard at the tackle he reads the game well and he's disciplined but he can still come forward from that position which he did extremely well last year we've not seen quite as much of it this year Daryl has settled into his role and he's also got a leadership role on the team he wears that captain's armband uh, he's a very popular player here with the St. Louis fan, and, and it's got to make him feel good to be with a winning team in his hometown. The Storm did a lot more overlapping with the defenders early in the season. They were giving up an awful lot of goals. So they changed their philosophy a little bit and really at least always kept one defender back. Twelve minutes left in the second quarter. High-scoring game here at the arena tonight. 4-3 Storm. Ball into the Tacoma end. Vaccaro kicks it to midfield. Terry Brown there, high in the air. Heads it forward for Thompson. You see it. He fights the far boards with Ristic. Donegan also there. Donegan and, and Thompson going for the ball. Thompson is really leveled, but he was pushed down after a foul had been committed by Donegan. So it's a free kick for the Stars out of their own end. For Alf Black, a tough guy back there. Good defender. They acquired him from San Diego. Ralph's the kind of guy that you could say he would kick his grandmother if she was between him <laughs> and the goal, and he would. You know, they list him as 27 years old in his 10th year in the league. Yeah, he broke in when he was 18 years old. So he's been around a long time. Yeah, he's, uh, he's bruised a few people's ankles in those yes, years. Yes, he too. has. Long, flowing brown hair. Mark Fredrickson at his red line to Slobo. Slobo cuts it outside the box, gives it ahead to Fredrickson. Freddie, though, being watched by Carpin, so he kicks it back to Slobo. Slobo cuts it back across the floor nicely to Fredrickson, and Mark has a lot of space. Freddie up the near boards. Fredrickson ahead to Donegan. Back to Fredrickson. Fredrickson down low to Thompson. You see it. Thompson tried to feed it over to Donegan, running in from the left boards to the words of the post, but it was intercepted there. Just didn't quite kick. Up the near side. Here's Kinsey for Tacoma. Gives a good ball across the floor to Ralph Black. Black shot blocked in the right in front of the goal, right in front of Slobo by David Eyes. And an Eyes while off balance plays it back to Slobo up to Terry Brown to Donegan Donegan at the red line Storm back quickly Donegan in the corner loses the ball to Redwanski Redwanski off the boards ahead for Greg I and I is tripped up by eyes that could be two yes it is yes it is the official on the, the far side of the field called it but when you trip a guy running down with a lot of space like that and they're calling it close tonight yeah they are some nights they don't yeah that one again I don't think eyes was was his intent. I think they got their legs tangled, tangled up. And they up. crossed paths yep. and uh, the guy went down hard and Eyes was really trying to get out of his way but uh, the way they've been calling it, you got to expect that one. So Tacoma will try another power play here. They scored earlier in the game on the power play. So St. Louis has given up now 11 goals in 22 shorthanded situations only killing off half of them and you really need to do better than that, Ty. Well, you do. You need to establish strengths in all different facets of your game and the Storms certainly have made progress but they still have problems in both the six attacker situation and on the penalty killing situation. And in the major soccer league as opposed to hockey, oh Donigan went for the steal and almost got it away from Milano. He would have had a breakaway. Here's Ralph Black a long shot and it hits the right corner. Comes back to Crook. Crook plays it outside the line to Willie Milano. Milano on the dribble. Donigan tries to tackle away from him and misses. Milano got it over to Crook. Gets it back. Now to Crook at the right point. Bill Crook down to the right corner for Gary Heal. Heal off the boards, back for Crook, back to Milano, 20 feet from the red line. Milano plays it to Black, Black shoots, and Heal heads it, and it appeared that he hit the post with it. Gary Heal, a diving header, off that ball off the backboards by Black, and he hit the post. Almost scored again. Here's Milano right in the middle of the floor. Down low, right corner to Heal. Heal tries to get around Spencer. Spencer takes him to the boards, cuts him off. He has to send it back to Crook. Now to Milano. 105 left in this Tacoma power play. Crook with a shot. Slobo missed it, but it hit the boards about a foot wide. Now Schmetzer has it in the corner. Hammers it off the boards back outside the red line, but Milano picks it up. Milano down low to Heel. Heel tried to one time and hit it way wide into the left corner. Black gets it, though. Good ball control here by Tacoma. 
Ralph Black penetrates. Ralph Black crosses it to Crook, and he shoots and misses just wide. Slobo off the mark. Slobo may have gotten a piece of it that directed to directed wide. Slobo off the mark, trying to clear it out. Couldn't. Here is Milano, top of the restraining arc. He'll pass. Gives it back to Black. Black carries it back outside to the red line. Stops it there. Gives it to Milano. Right side. Crook runs onto it. Shoots and scores. Slobo got a hand on it, but deflected it in. Get the ball deflected into the right corner and a power play goal for Tacoma's tie the game at four. What a shootout we have here at the arena tonight. 4-4 tie game. This is St. Louis Storm Soccer. Crook's second power play goal, or second, his sixth of the game, the second power play goal of the game for Tacoma has tied the score at four here with 8.42 remaining in the second quarter. Foul call against the Storm as we come back on the far side, so a free kick for the Stars in front of the penalty box. Get it down the far boards for Steve Kinsey. Kinsey carries it across the floor to the right side, gives it down low. There's a shot blocked by Fernando Clavillo. Shot was blocked by Clavillo, taken by Joe Waters. And it's going to be a free kick for Tacoma. Here's a shot. That one's blocked by Clavillo again. Ball goes to the far boards. Bounces back to the red line. Headed back in by Tacoma. Fernando Clavillo steps in front and intercepts. Here's Precky sprinting down across the, the midfield line. Down low and a shot. A one-timer by Dragicevic. Not a very hard shot, but he got it on goal. And Vaccaro had to jump to make the save. The goal is, is uh, 7 and feet 6 inches high now. So... Some of those high shots have uh, danger of going in. Vaccaro had to jump to get it. With eight minutes left still here in this second period, second quarter, Tomo you see, already has three fouls, so he's going to have to be careful or the Storm will be down a man again. That's the new rule, four fouls by any one player in the same half of play, and he has to sit out. We haven't seen that called all season long. Darrell Duran down in the right corner for Thompson. You see it. Thompson is very careful down there as Bill Crook stepped in front of him. Thompson made sure he didn't foul him. Off to Milano. Milano loses it to Thompson. You see it. Tomo gives it heel pass to Dragicevic. Emil off to Precky. Precky has it at the red line. Precky holds it there with his left foot. Feeds it back to Duran. Duran kicks it to the right point to Mark Fredrickson. Down low right corner. Dragicevic off the end board. Thompson. You see it right there. Shot from a bad angle. Ball popped in the air and Vaccaro grabbed it. He throws it up the near side, and the ball hit the top of the boards, and Fredrickson hits it way high in the air. Thompson, you see, and Waters fouled him from behind as he got up over the top of Tomo trying to win that 50-50 head ball. So it would be a free kick for the Storm from the Tacoma red line. I'm impressed again tonight with the amount of work that Tomo Yusin has been doing, particularly in the other team's box, just to clear the space out, to stay in dangerous positions, to win head balls. He won a couple of head balls on that one power play that kept the thing alive. The Storm ended up scoring just after that. And then his assist on uh, De Oliveira's goal was another situation where he really worked hard to get in a strong position so that De Oliveira could lay the ball into him and then get it back. Well, he's a big man for indoor soccer. 6'1", 185 pounds off the restart. What are they calling here? Apparently they're... It's the official timeout, probably. Oh, it is. Minutes because... and four seconds left in the first half. So that's the type of game that the Storm, like you said, are normally involved in. Well, the last time he was here, he gave up nine. nine exactly. it, the ball apparently did go off at Tacoma player. That's what Gary Hill was arguing about. So it's a corner for, kick for the Storm, and Duran heads it after Precky hit it off the end boards, and Duran caught the ins, caught the left post, caught the outside of the left post, hit it pretty flush, but he was close. Slobo up to the red line, looking for somebody to pass it to. Nobody down there. Now Slobo kicks it down the near boards for Godfrey Ingram. The ball bounces past Ralph Black, and Ingram is called... Wait a minute. They're calling it the other way. Or are they? Yeah, they're calling yeah. the foul against Ingram. There was some confusion on the part of the players. Now here's Mark Carpen on the far side. Claudio De Oliveira takes the ball away from him but loses it as he kicked to the middle of the floor right to Greg Ion. On the near side, it's Gary Heal just coming off the bench. Heal and Donegan go into the St. Louis zone and Heal had Donegan's shirt all wrapped up with the foul is called on Donegan. And it'll be a free kick for Tacoma. 
near the touch line of the right side, about 10 feet inside the St. Louis red line. There's a little animosity out there. I think Gary Hill, this is his former team, and for Precky, he's playing against his former team as well, and I think for both of them, that's a little bit of inspiration. Thompson down to heel, heel off the end boards, and a kick save by Slobo. What a fine save by Slobo on Freddie Thompson. Thompson had a clean shot at the goal from about 15 feet out in front. Now here's Claudio de Oliveira knocking down a release pass, a clearing pass by Vaccaro, but Vaccaro got up, hustled back, and got the ball at the top of the penalty area. Claudio almost got one there. Now here's David I stepping in front of Freddie Thompson, and Thompson fouls him, and it'll be a storm kick out of the Tacoma end. This is just a great match. Both teams really scrapping and fighting here because they know that the team that takes the momentum here is going to be very important in terms of the outcome of the game. They've battled back and forth here. It's a 4-4 tie, and nobody's really giving much at this point. That next goal is going to be the hardest one to get. Claudio de Fernando Clavillo down in the corner for Thompson. You see it. He heads it against the boards once, twice with his feet. Now turns. Oh, he had Terry Brown right in front. But the ball went past Brown. Terry really was not expecting that ball in that situation. He was looking for a loose ball off the back boards. Mickey Ristick has it along the near boards. Thompson, you see him marking him up. And Ristick goes back to Vaccaro, kicks it down the right side. David I steps in front of Freddie Thompson and plays it back to Slobo. And the Storm coming into this game with a four-game winning streak and a five-game homestand. They have visions in their eyes of a, of a long winning streak, but they have to beat Tacoma here. Long ball down by Terry Brown, but right on goal. And Vaccaro... Grabs the ball, makes the save, feeds Ralph Black. Black with a shot off the end board. Tried to play it to himself. Duran got in front of him and uh, got the ball. Then a foul is called on Ralph Black. Black turns and points to somebody. <laughs> a little intimidation factor. I think it was Donigan he's pointing to. Ralphie, what a character. Ralph could use a... Ralph hasn't been to a barber in a while. No. Well, he's, got a he's got a nice left foot. He saves a lot of money by not going to barbers. Here's a long ball into the St. Louis end, headed out by Tacoma. Stars have the ball in their own zone. They kick it across the floor. Nicky Ristick settles it nicely with his right foot, juggles it, tries to spin past Brecky and does. Nice move by Ristick. Now he passes it left wing boards for Carpen. Carpen hammers it down into Steve Kinsey. Back to the boards. Brecky got in there to mix it up. Duran was there. Duran got it on his hand. So it's a handball on Daryl Duran as he was sitting on his rear end on the floor. Free kick to Coma in the St. Louis zone with 4.41 left here in the first half of play, and we're tied at four. Here's the restart. Ristick gets it down into the left corner for Carpen. Carpen's pass and a foul called against Duran. And that's Duran's third foul of the half. So he's in the same same boat with Tomo you see in as far as being close to getting the fourth one. A lot of whistles here. The officials really calling this one closer than we've seen games in recent weeks call. Last night's game in Dallas was very physical. Now here's a free kick for Tacoma. Shot and the Slobo makes a diving save. Punches the ball to the near board. Goes back outside the red line to Kenzie. Kenzie has his ball stolen away by Terry Brown to Precky. To Thompson, you see it. Thompson, middle of the floor. Double team. Pass it to Spencer. The ball is behind him and Brian has to go back and get it and kicks it back to Slobo down on the St. Louis end. Slobo has Fernando Clavillo left wing boards. Only 4-10 left here in the second half or second quarter of play. Fernando Clavillo with a shot. That's blocked. Gets it back. Sends it down along the boards, but it went over the top, went over the head of Emil Dragicevic and right to Chris Vaccaro. Tacoma owns the ball in their own end. Vaccaro top of the area. Sends it right down the middle of the floor for Gary Heal. He turns and comes back the other way. Gives a nice pass on the left wing into the St. Louis zone. Into Willie Milano. Milano on a little give-and-go attempt, and Slobo grabs it from Joe Waters. Was it Waters or was it Ristic? Ristic. Ristic. Now here's Heel intercepting a ball. A tenner for Thompson. You see it. And Gary Heel, a farmer storm. As the ball comes all the way from the left side to the right side, then cuts it back towards the middle. Gary Heel with a good run. Here's Willie Milano. Milano crosses, and Brian Spencer was right there. Kicked it out to Thompson. You see it. He's got Precky with him. It's two on two. Thompson to the Tacoma red line. Thompson deep in the right corner now, cut off by Joe Waters. Thompson double team, tries to play it off the end boards. He scored two in Dallas like that last night, but that time he was double teamed and never got the ball after he kicked it off the back boards. Willie Milano to Redwanski. That's intercepted briefly by Duran, but it's kicked back into the St. Louis end. Fredrickson plays it back to Ilyevsky. Slobo rolls it up to Emil. Emil Durgisovic up the middle for Godfrey Ingram. Ingram is held on the play by Bill Crook, a foul called against Crook. 
free kick storm midfield. 248 remaining here in the second quarter. We've already had eight goals, each team with four. Things have slowed down a little bit here in terms of the goal scoring. Both teams playing a little tighter, scrapping harder in front of their own goal. Godfrey Ingram head of the ball towards the goal. Vaccaro caught it. Here comes the Stars back. Tacoma to Mark Carpet on the near boards. Carpet dribbles a ball to the middle of the field. Now sends it down to the right corner. It's headed down there for Greg I, and he did not anticipate it. Fredrickson there, was there to beat him, but the ball comes loose, and a shot just goes wide by Carpet. And now Duran trying to get out. He mishit it. And Greg Ion had a knocked off hit. His foot by Slobo came off his line. Ball on the near boards. It's picked up by Precky. Precky loses it to Ralph Black. Here's Greg Ion across the floor for Carpet. Carpet off the end boards, but it rolls around the boards to Slobo. This is really a high pace, and you have to think what kind of toll it's going to take on the St. Louis Storm. They played just last night in Dallas, a tough win, and Tacoma here hasn't played for about six days. Frankie kicks it to the right corner. Vaccaro off the boards, cannot get it out. It's Claudio De Oliveira, spins. Claudio still with the ball, dancing with the ball. Double team, plays it back to Fredrickson. Gets a nice round of applause. like that. Over to Fredrickson from Frankie. Freddie down low to Fredrickson with a shot. Got it from, from Ingram. Ingram used as a point man there, and Fredrickson got the give and go, took the shot, and it was saved. Now Vaccaro throws it up the right side for Redwanski, knocked away by Fredrickson. Loose ball, recovered by Milano. Milano plays it off the boards, back to near his red line to Black. And Tacoma owns it with a minute 20 remaining here in the second quarter. Bill Cook, watched by Donegan to Black. Plays it back to Vaccaro. Vaccaro outside the area. Kicks it straight ahead right down the middle of Milano. To Kirk, he chests it down off the near boards for Freddie Thompson. Thompson and Fredrickson go at it. And a foul is called on Fredrickson. Yeah, he followed through just a little bit late. Took down Freddie Thompson. But the team, both teams here really playing a lot of discipline. They're marking all over the field. They're not giving each other much space. Well, that's to Tacoma's credit, really. They have... Now here's a shot and a goal by Freddie Thompson as Gary Heal played it off the boards to Thompson. He ran onto it, caught the inside of the left post, and Freddie Thompson, who burned the storm with two goals in Tacoma, gets another one here. He doesn't score against anybody else. That's only his uh, fourth goal of the season, three of them against the storm. And you hate to give up a goal here nearly in the last minute of play of the first half. There's one minute, one second remaining. And, but it was just well executed. I think you can't hardly really fault the Storm defense. And Gary Hill made a nice move, used the boards. Thompson ran through it. It popped out right on his foot. And he just barely caught the inside of the far post to beat Slobo. He's talking about the fact that it's a disciplined game. That's really in Tacoma's favor because that's the way they play. Yeah. So in effect, they've forced the Storm to play their game despite the fact we have nine goals up there. But it's good to see that the Storm can match them for that for certain periods of the game. The Storm many times when they're faced up against that tend to unravel. Here they were matching them in terms of marking and keeping keeping things very tight. We have 48 seconds left in the first half. Duran in his own end being watched by McCormick. Kicks it straight up the middle intended for Terry Brown. And a foul called against Brown as he grabbed Ristic. Quick restart. Tacoma has the ball into the St. Louis end. McCormick knocked down. And may have taken a dive at least in the eyes of the officials. No whistle. As he and Duran bump, Slobo throws it up the middle of Terry Brown, kicks it right back to Slobo with a half a minute left in the period. Slobo gives it to Daryl Duran left side. Duran sprints across the midfield line. McCormick on his back. Duran to the red line. Duran with a shot. Rebound and goes just wide. Terry Brown headed it just wide on that rebound off the hard shot by Duran. Slobo up almost to midfield with 12 seconds off the boards of Duran in the Tacoma end. But Greg Ion there as Duran tried to turn and, and shoot. Now it's Donegan. Donegan with four seconds left to Terry Brown. Brown downloaded Godfrey Ingram, and the horn sounds, and this first quarter is over. Right. The problem will be when they give up 100 goals. Well, goal. and they're looking at a Tacoma team who last time out, just one week ago tonight, they played in Kansas City, I believe. No, they played Kansas City. I'm not sure where. They scored 11 goals. And they're the, that's about one-fifth of their season total. Long ball down into the St. Louis end as we start things off. Fernando Clavillo kicks it away from Gary Heal. And then Jurgisovic is fouled. So the Storm have an early free kick out of their own zone. Down by a goal, but they're very lethal. The question is, will fatigue catch up with them? Tacoma's a lot fresher than the Storm, who played last night in Dallas and played Sunday night here against Cleveland. Cleveland's been a very inconsistent team this year. They can uh, be really, really hot. Well, they can be really, really bad. Slobo kicks it up, trying to get it up to Godfrey Ingram, headed back the other way by Cleveland. Gary Heal volleys it to the St. Louis red line. Smetzer for the storm, heads it to the near boards, and Dragicevic follows Mark Carpin 
A free kick for Tacoma coming up. Yeah, we could have another goal-scoring spree here on Sunday night mm -hmm. with the Cleveland team coming in. They, they have the potential to score bundles of goals just like the Storm. Uh, like you said, they've been hot and cold, but when they're hot, they can run up the score. Milano will take this free kick from the neutral zone right in front of the St. Louis bench. Off the near boards for Gary Heal. Heal double team, try to get it back to Milano. Did Heal back in the corner. Heal off the end boards. Loose ball comes out to the red line, and Precky picks it up. Precky with Trugisovic sprinting in front of him. Precky now slows it up. Precky to the red line, has the ball uncommonly get too far ahead of him, and it's kicked away, and then headed by Duran across the floor, goes through the glass and into the penalty box area. We understand that Kia is in the Tacoma locker room. We don't know why, but he did not dress for this one. They only dressed 14 players, so apparently he and Keith Weller had some problems. It sounds like that type of situation. Unless he, he would, would. Make himself feel like he's part of the team. It sounds like a, maybe a pouting situation. And we would be told yeah, that exactly. he's injured. Exactly. So obviously there's some kind of a problem there with their leading score, but they scored five goals without him. Kinsey off the boards. Slobo off the mark. Kicks it back down the floor to take some of the pressure off. And Vaccaro up off the line, over the red line, and kicks it straight down the middle. Freddie Thompson has it off the near boards. Thompson gets it back. Thompson in low. For Ian, a shot. Slobo makes a good save. Another attempt by Ian, but he never got that one off. And Donigan picks it up for the storm, kicks it back to midfield. Slobo, a good save there. A really fine pass by Thompson into Ion to start it, but Slobo matched that quality with a good save at the near side. Black at his own end, standing down there, breathing heavily, taking a little bit of a rest. Off to Vaccaro, back to Black. Back to Vaccaro. He picks it up now and comes to the top of the area, throws it down the middle of the floor, all the way down into the St. Louis end. Nobody down there. Duran back there for the Storm to get it. Plays it off the backboards for Ilyevsky. Slobo has nobody to throw it to. Just drops it at his feet. Comes forward to the red line. Kicks it down the right side for Godfrey Ingram in the Tacoma zone. But went over three lines. Went over three lines. He can't do that. Keeper can't do it. He's the only man that cannot do it. And it's a shame for Slobo because he's good enough to put the ball on the money over three lines, which he did. He put it right into Ingram's protected side where Ingram could receive it in turn. Used to be that no player could kick it over three lines, but they changed that rule to open the game up. Now the keeper is the only one that can't kick it over three lines, meaning over your own red line, the midfield line, or the other team's red line. Milano's got a big left foot here. He's at the Storm's red line. Here is Milano approaching the ball. Ingram is just standing in front of him, gets it down low. Into the corner. Kinsey off the backboards. Milano there, but couldn't get the shot off. And the ball is kicked back to midfield by Eyes. Vaccaro way off his line. Almost to midfield. Plays the ball. Over to Waters. Waters into the St. Louis end. Fernando Covillo heads it back out. Heel pops it in the air once, twice off of his head. And Precky comes over and heads the ball, but it went off the field of play into the St. Louis bench. Precky tried to buy one there, saying it went off heel, but the official right there said, nope, went off of your head. So it's going to be a kick in for Tacoma right of the St. Louis bench, right in front of Brian Smetzer. And Smetzer and Waters have a little conversation down there. Former teammates, and here's Precky with a steal off the re-kick, and Precky sprints into the Tacoma, and Precky cuts it to the middle of the floor. Precky with a shot, and Vaccaro makes the save. He never got a lot on it, as he was being hounded and banged away at from behind, and did get it on goal, but didn't, didn't really kick it very hard. Now here's Vaccaro playing the ball off the line, loses it to Precky, wide open goal, he shoots and scores. Vaccaro got all fouled up with his defender back there. And who was it, David Eyes? David Eyes made the initial steal. He fed it into Precky. Precky had an open net. He just turned and put it away. He'll never get an easier one. No, that was, he could have walked that one in. That ties the game. He had the whole goal, nobody between him and the goal. He was only about 10 or 15 feet away. That's an easy one, but he'll take it. That ties the game at five. This is St. Louis Storm Soccer. He's 28th goal of the season, an easy one, as Chris Vaccaro and his defenders got all messed up in their own end as David Eyes came in and stole the ball, and he had a very easy shot at it. His 28th goal ties us. Here's a shot by Greg Hyde. It hit Freddie Thompson in the penalty area. Now Donegan gives the ball away to Gary Heal. Heal turn, shoot, slow a fist save, and then a long, high clearing pass down the floor by Duran. 
He hit it real high, bounced all the way. Now Vaccaro gives it away to Thompson. You see it. Instant replay from the last goal. Vaccaro out from his goal. He's not as skillful as Slobo with his feet. He gave it away on the last goal to David Eyes. This time he nearly did it to UCN. By the way, Precky's goal ties him now for the team record for most goals in the season. And we just barely played a quarter of a year. Thompson, Freddie Thompson down low. Off the end boards. Goes through the goal mouth. To the near board. Zagisevic clears it out to midfield. Off the boards. Using them nicely. Bill Crook has it there. Gives it off to Heal. Heal wants a rest, so he kicks it back to Chris Vaccaro, who's all the way up to the red line again. Greg Eye in the middle of the floor. Pass intercepted by Dragisevic. Abil Dragisevic uses David Eyes. Eyes to the red line. David Eyes fakes a shot once, cuts it to the middle of the floor to Dragisevic, but Freddie Thompson was right there and made a good defensive play and knocked it off Abil's foot just about the time he was going to crank it up. Tacoma kicks the ball into the St. Louis end. Nobody back there as the Stars are making some player changes. Spetzer has it for the Storm. Ten and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. We're 5-5 at the arena. The Storm and the Tacoma Stars in the battle essentially for first place. Even though Tacoma with a victory will still be three one hundredths of a percentage point ahead. Essentially it is for first place. Now here's Slobo doing it again. He kicked it across three lines for the second time in this half. Brecky now takes the lead lead and points too from Tattoo, but Tattoo has played two last games, so that really uh, is not all that important at this point. And going back to the situation, uh, Kia, the leading scorer for Tacoma, not playing tonight. Perhaps we're just speculating a run-in with Keith Weller. Keith Weller, the Tacoma Stars coach, has a couple of championship rings as an assistant. He was the assistant in Dallas when they won the whole thing and also in San Diego. Here's Milano's restart to Ralph Black. Slow ball, a kick save. Nice save with his right foot. As he stretched out the right foot to Godfrey him down to Precky in the Tacoma end. Precky tried to cut the ball around Nicky Ristic. The ball was bouncing. He had a tough ball to handle and couldn't, just couldn't cut it around him. If he could have, he'd have been in on loan. Here's Milano, a shot. Slobo deflects it wide. Rebound put up high by Carpen way up into the yellow seats. Goal kick coming up for the Storm. And Slobo has played much better here in the third quarter. He's had some tough saves to make. Milano shaking his head there because... Slobo acrobatically flung himself all the way across the goal, and that goal is two feet wider than it ever used to be for the rest of Slobo's illustrious career, but he still got all the way over, punched that ball out. The rebound by Carpent then was sent well over the top of the plexiglass. Just under 10 minutes left here in the third quarter. Tied at five at the arena on this Friday night. Slobo with the goal kick coming up, and he's got Duran standing there right. Radwanski's there. Just... Radwanski's there trying to mess things up. Slobo does not like to kick the ball off the line like that, off the goal mouth. He usually tries to play it to one of the Storm defenders, and they play it back to him, and he brings it forward, gets it to the red line. Now he kicks it down to the Tacoma end of Perky right on his chest. Turn, shoots, right on, and a follow by Terry Brown. Just hit above the crossbar. Good follow by Brown after a good shot by Perky. Vaccaro had to be sharp to make that save. Then Brown just missed putting in the rebound. Perky steals it. Terry Brown comes back to play it to Slobo. What Slo about the ball control by Precky? Yeah. He brought that ball down all the way from the far end. Slobo had launched the long pass. Precky took it on his chest and turned in one motion and cracked the ball on goal. And then the rebound was put just over the bar by Brown. Yeah, that ball was hit about 170 feet, and he did a chest trap. Here's Donegan with a steal. He's got Godfrey Ingram ahead of him. Donegan to the red line, plays it over to Terry Brown. Brown and Donegan got together, got kind of messed up. Now, Donegan gets it back, though, from Brown over to Mark Fredrickson. Freddie, top of the arc, shoots. Oh, and he hit just a little bit wide on the left side. Donegan gets the ball. Left wing boards, pushes it into the corner for Brown. Brown wanted to hit uh, Mark Fredrickson with the ball, but Freddie came in too close. Now to Fernando Clavillo. Clavillo plays it to Donegan, got too far ahead of him in the corner. It is down in the corner, and it's Medved. On the floor, I believe, for the first time, his first shift with the ball. He loses it, though. Fredrickson down low. Terry Brown. Terry Brown trying to shoot in heavy traffic. He did, just didn't pull the trigger quickly enough. And the ball taken away by Tacoma. Terry's not used to being in that close. Now both teams change players. And Ralph Black slowly has it in his own end, waiting for his teammates to get on the floor. 8-17 remaining in the third. We're tied at five. Fernando Covillo with a steal as he stepped in front of Gary Heal at the red line. Ball goes to the far side. Greg Ian double team. Played it off the boards, but Precky picked it up. Precky gives it off for Jurgisovic. Off the boards for David Eyes. Good ball by Eyes to Jurgisovic. Down to the corner, but he's beaten there by Greg Ian. Ian goes down, and they call a foul on Emil Jurgisovic. So it'll be a free kick for the Stars out of their own end. Keith Weller last year 
had a run in with his leading scorer, who at the time was Dave Hagen, who's now in Cleveland, and ended up suspending him for an entire month. So this is uh, not unheard of. Again, we're speculating on the situation between Key and Weller, but uh, Weller's uh, uh, pretty bullheaded about situations, and uh, players don't get away with anything. Thompson, you see it with a steal. He's tripped up at midfield, and he's going to get it. He draws a penalty. Ralph Black took him down. Thompson went over him very hard. Black shaken up on the play also. Thompson stole the ball on his own red line, came down the middle of the floor. The ball got a little too far ahead of him. Black came in trying for the steal, and I think he got the ball, but he also got all of Thompson. You see it. And the Storm. Storm will have a power play opportunity here. They are one for two on the power play in the game, seven for 19 in the game in this on the season. Oh, that's not right. That's not right. They were 12 for 28 coming into this game. But they're one for two on the night. Their third power play opportunity. It's rare when you get three in one game, to tell you the truth. And this is their third one. We're just in the third quarter. Fernando Covillo down low for Thompson. You see, and he has tripped up. And Waters clears the ball out. But Fernando Covillo steps in front of the pass that would have sent Radwanski on a breakaway. Yep. Al Duran has it. That was Radwanski's specialty when he played in Dallas. Short-handed goals. Here's Duran at the red line, just inside the red line. Left side, Claudio De Oliveira. A minute and a half left on the power play to Duran. Looked like he wanted to shoot and didn't. Fernando Clavillo with a shot, and that's blocked. Ball comes right back to Fernando. He gives a great pass left side to Claudio De Oliveira. And he, he just, just he almost killed about three people with <laughs> just passing the ball. I mean, he hit it so hard all the way across the floor. Godfrey Ingram goes back to get it to Duran. To Fernando Clavillo to Godfrey along the left wing boards. Godfrey across the floor, this time for Claudio De Oliveira. De Oliveira steps over it. Gives it off to Duran. Duran left side of the box down low. Claudio, who tried to feed Fernando Clavillo back at the point at the top. Fernando would have had an open shot at that point, but the ball was deflected away. Less than a minute now left on the St. Louis power play, and they really haven't had a shot yet. Duran slowly to the red line. 50 seconds left on the man advantage to Thompson. You see it. He leads the league in power play goals with five. Back to Duran. Boy, he had a tough ball to handle. Off to Fernando Clavillo. Back to Duran. Top of the restraining guard. Gives it down low for Godfrey Ingram. He tried to cross it. That's deflected away. Godfrey is called on a dangerous play as he got his foot too high in the air in the face of one of the Tacoma players, and this has not been a good power play. No, it hasn't, but give some credit to the penalty killers for Tacoma. They're really hustling, getting their, just getting a toe on some of those balls that normally get through, and those are the ones that are most dangerous. If they stretch and don't get to them, then obviously they've been beaten. Crook kicks it down into the St. Louis end of Gary Heal. Heel down there looking for help. Kicks it to the middle of the floor. Nobody there. And Godfrey Ingram has it for the storm. 23 seconds left on the power play. Up to Claudio De Oliveira from Duran. Claudio to the red line. Claudio tries to get it to Thompson. You see it. And that's kicked back out by Tacoma. And Precky has to go back and get it. Precky usually comes out at the end of these power plays. Off to Duran. To the red line. Duran into the zone. Shoots and just misses with a hard left footer. Ingram back to Precky at the red line. Two seconds left. Precky. Dances to the top of the arc. Perky carries it to the right side. Heel kick to Duran. Duran down low to Claudio De Oliveira. He had trouble handling it. Tried to feed it back to Perky. Missed him. The pass, though, was intercepted. And Perky got it off the wall, off the boards. And we're back to even strength. As Tacoma's killed off another St. Louis power play. Perky kicks it across the floor for Thompson. You see it. You see it goes back to Brian Schmetzer at the midfield line. We're tied at 5. 5-12 left in the third quarter. Up to Claudio De Oliveira, back to Fernando Clavijo. Clavijo across the floor to Bryant Smetzer. Smetzer, 30 feet or so from the red line, kicks it into the into the Tacoma zone, attempting to hit Thompson. You see it with it, but it was knocked away from Tomo. And back to Chris Vaccaro. Vaccaro throws it right down the middle. And a foul is called against Clavijo as he chopped down Dick McCormick. And it'll be a free kick for Tacoma. And on the bench of the Tacoma Stars now, we do see Kia. He's got a blue sweat top on. He was just putting a shirt on, so this is a real mystery here, what's been going on in his situation. Here's the free kick. Schmetzer steps in front of Gary Heal and steals the ball in his own zone and sends it back to Slobo. Precky and Crook both have two goals tonight. Through one-fourth of the season, they were almost three times as many hat-tricks in the league as they were a year ago. Here's Precky giving Dragicevic the ball down in the right corner. Emil has it bounce away from him, though, as Greg Ein was on his back. And they ruled an eye and pushed him. So the Storm will have a free kick deep in the right corner near the corner kick spot. These are dangerous. Brecky goes down there to take it. Sometimes I 
wonder why Pricky takes it, if he wouldn't be more effective back out on top. Well, but he's so deceptive in his delivery of the ball, that he can, and he reads the game well enough, that he gets it out to somebody who can put it away. They tried the same thing as it worked earlier. Brecky played it off the end boards, trying to get it for Godfrey Ingram. That didn't work, and here comes Tacoma back the other way, eye and into the St. Louis zone, but Schmetzer runs him off the ball and kicks it away from him. Schmetzer looks sharper tonight than he has in some games. I think he's feeling a little more healthy. He doesn't have the wrap on his knee that he had in a few of the earlier games. Long ball in the corner, attended for Precky, came off the end boards, bounced back over his heads, and Tacoma is coming back the other way. Schmetzer had his best game of the season last night in Dallas, and I think he's followed that up again, playing a lot more solid in the back. He looked a little slow on the turn at times earlier in the year. His, his fitness level has is, is certainly gone up, and, and I think he's just feeling healthier. 3.48 left in the quarter. As Tacoma's Nicky Ristic has it at midfield, right in front of the penalty box on the far side. Plays it back to Waters. Joe Waters has it. 15 feet from the midfield line, kicks it down the right side and kicks it over the glass and out of play. So it'll be a kick in for the Storm on the far side. And we'll take a break. This is St. Louis Storm Soccer. Not, not from what we've seen. No. <laughs> There's about three and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Ron Jacober, Ty Keo at the arena. The Storm and the Tacoma Stars tied at five. Slobo's ball to midfield, taken away by Crook. It was intended for Donegan. Tacoma owns it again. Waters from outside the midfield line. On the right side from Freddie Thompson to the red line. And it is now Tacoma's ball. They play it back to Waters at midfield to Willie Milano. Milano turns, gives it to Freddie Thompson. Thompson has Mark Fredrickson on his back, cannot penetrate. Storm with pretty good man-to-man -man defense in the middle of the floor, not allowing Tacoma to penetrate. Now Duran steals, back to Slobo. Duran up the middle to Volvo Lusik. Lusik with his first shift on the floor to Donegan, back to Lusik. Lusik has very good skills with the ball. He just hasn't played a lot. Here is Donegan with a shot from Bobo Lusick. A side volley by Donegan as Bobo fed him from the right wing boards outside the red line. Donegan got the ball on the fly. One time with a side volley. Caught the inside of the right post. But Bobo Lusick picks up an assist about five seconds after he walks out of the floor. And Dan Donegan, the young man out of the University of Connecticut, scores for the second nine in a row and wakes this crowd up. Gives the Storm a one-goal lead. It certainly makes Don Popovic look good. He throws out Bobo Lukic. Lukic makes a great pass to the opposite side. Donegan takes it out of the air and buries it to the far side, just cu catching the inside of the post. St. Louis Storm go-ahead goal. His ninth of the season, number five, Dan Donegan. Assisted by number 13, Bobo Lusik. That's two your balls for Mike. So Bobo Lusik picks up a quick assist. We were just speculating when he, whether he'd play in a 5-5 game. Well, he did. It paid dividends. Donegan with his ninth goal of the season. The Storm have grabbed the lead. I think it's for the first time. And it is the third game in a row that Donegan has scored a goal. Here's Bobo Lusik playing it over the head of Crook down into the Tacoma end. Off the boards and misplayed to Vaccaro. Lusik right there. Darn near it stole the ball. Almost got it back. Now Perky lost it along the boards. Tacoma plays it ahead to Gary Heal. Heal right down the middle of the field. Feeds a good ball left side. Black. Black into the St. Louis zone. Knocked off his foot by Claudio De La Vera. But Carpet got a little bit of it. But it went to Fredrickson. He played it back to Slobo. So the Storm have a one goal lead now. Late here in the third quarter of play. As Claudio De La Vera waits for the Storm to change defenders. Kicks it down into the corner. For Thompson you see it. But Thompson is muscled off the ball nicely by Nicky Ristic. Ristic loses it, though, to David Eyes. Eyes to Duran. Duran to Precky. Precky loves to start from the boards, and Ralph Black fouled him. Precky loves to start from the right wing boards. Cut inside. Cut inside. And Black read him there all the way, and I thought made a pretty strong and fair tackle, but they called a foul anyway against Precky. I'm sorry, against Black on I, Precky. I tend to agree with you. Black played him to the left foot. He knew that's where he was going to go. Here's Precky down low for Duran. Duran. 
kicks it across the field, miss hit it. Ball comes back to Claudio. He did not aggressively go after it. And here comes Tacoma. They have the ball midfield. Carpin spins, get away from De Oliveira. Duran got a piece of it. Precky got a foot on it, but couldn't get it out. Eyes in the corner, can't control it. Carpin with a ball. Here is a shot. Slobo makes the save. Rebound, Slobo down and grabs the ball. On a Edward Wonski header, Slobo made the save. And then he was out off the line, really, but the ball came right to him. That ball was bouncing precariously in behind him for just a moment. Duran fighting for it, too, but Slobo, a lot of guts there to fling his body back to grab it. Ball in the corner for Thompson. Do you see him? He's being covered heavily, but he still controls the ball, turns it, double team, triple team, and Redwanski takes it away from him. Redwanski gets around Claudio de Oliveira, spins away from Thompson. Do you see him? and sends it back to Vaccaro, who came up wanting to throw, had to delay it, now he throws it down to Kinsey. Kinsey has some space into the St. Louis end. Claudio de Oliveira, Fernando Clavillo down there. Clavillo goes down, loose ball along the boards, and a foul called against Fernando Clavillo, a very late whistle. Both uh, he and Kinsey were fighting for the ball. I don't know that there should have been a whistle, but there was, with 27 seconds left, and that's a critical one, because it's late in the period, deep in the St. Louis zone. About eight feet or so from the end boards. Milano will start it. Milano kicks it back outside. There's a shot, and it appeared to hit Turgisevich. A hard shot by Ralph Black. <laughs> Emil turned his back wisely, and I think the ball hit him in the back or in the rear end. Doesn't hurt so much back there. Here's Precky trying to steal it from Crook. Knocked it away. Crook plays it back to McCurra with only 12 seconds left in this third quarter. Milano at his red line. Has to get it down the floor in a hurry if they're going to do anything with it. Does get it down to the St. Louis red line. And here is Willie Milano into the St. Louis zone with one second left. And he shot it up over the top as the horn sounds. So the Storm come back. They shut down Tacoma for the most part in the third year. So, uh, yeah, I don't know when they came in. Yeah. It may have come yesterday, but it is uh, it is taxing to travel a lot. Here's Duran to Donegan. Donegan gets it back nicely to Duran as it was popped away from him. Duran down to Terry Brown. Brown is strong. And Brown is called on an elbowing foul as he backed into a man, to a defender back there. You know, the guy that is just a master of doing that is Tattoo. And last night there was one, he, I don't know how many fouls he drew by leaning into people. Last night he literally sat down on Fernando Clavillo right near the goal mouth and Fernando was called on the foul. And you saw the replay and there was no chance. It's an offensive foul, oh, really. Absolutely. But he, he disguises it well and he's so strong in, in his low center of gravity that it's hard to say who's doing what. He's about 5'6", and his legs are look like tree trunks. Here is Gary Heal, squaring the ball, middle of the field, stolen away by Terry Brown from Ian. Brown has it in heavy traffic. Brown along the boards, run off the ball. Donegan comes over, and That's on Kia. the board for the first time is Kia. Now we've got a foul called against Tacoma. So Kia's out there, their leading scorer for the first time in the game. He was in the dressing room for the whole first half, so apparently there were some problems there with is coach Keith Weller, although we're just speculating on that. We really don't know. You know, sometimes a team will play harder without their leading scorer maybe to prove something. Down into the left corner, it's Terry Brown. Brown tried to feed it back to Precky, but Kia was right there to intercept. Here's Thompson, or Godfrey Ingram with an interception at the top of the box. Inside the restraining or turn and shot, Vaccaro got a hand on it, slowed it up, and pulled it back off the line. And that was uh, Kia who gave the ball away in his own end. Big giveaway, and Godfrey nearly had a goal there, but you have to credit for Carroll. Here is Ralph Black with a shot. A save made by Schmetzer, and then the follow-up, and they score. Looks like Greg Ian got the rebound. And Slobo was down, and Ian buried it after Schmetzer stuck his foot out and really just laid the ball at the foot of Greg Ian, not intentionally, but that's what happens sometimes when the defenders will attempt to block those shots. Well, he has to block that first one. There's, there's no guarantee that Slobo's going to get to it in behind him. It was struck pretty well. And it just happened to pop off his foot directly to Ion, and Ion put it away. And, and Slobo still trying to get out, out of the position that he was in to try and stop that first shot, which Schmetzer had blocked. Well, guess what? We're tied again. Somehow that comes as no surprise. Storm have played a, a lot of one-goal games this season. Vaccaro had just saved Tacoma at the other end with the Kia giveaway. How do you like that? Kia doesn't play the whole game. He steps on, and he practically gives the game away the first time he touches it. Here's Bobo Lusik fighting uh, for the ball along the end boards, but it's finally won by Freddie Thompson, who gets it back to Vaccaro, throws it up the left side. It's Fernando Clavillo down there, along with McCormick, and Clavillo beats McCormick to the ball and kicks it back to Slobo. Storm, more than half of their games, 8 out of 15, have been one-goal games this season. So they've really... 
Most games are very tight. They're four and four in one goal games, two and four in overtime. Tacoma is something like six and one. They in are one six goal and one. Yeah. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Long ball headed out by Thompson, but right to Dragicevic. Heads it over to Precky. Precky outside the red line. Gives it into Emil in the zone. Emil turns. Hits it off the high off the glass. Precky runs onto the rebound. He got a little bit of it to Bobo Lusik. Lusik had to take it off his foot by Milano. And here comes Fred Thompson back for Tacoma. But stepping in front of him is Fredrickson. Fredrickson off to Precky. Shoots high and wide. Dragicevic follows with a rebound. Try to side volley. And really got underneath that ball and chopped it up into the stand. Good news from Detroit. The Blues have beaten the Red Wings tonight, 6-3. to three. Brett Hall has scored a couple of goals in that one. They broke a six-game winless streak in Detroit. Maybe the Storm can make it a two-for-two two night. Here's Mark Carpenter to the St. Louis red line. His pass intercepted by Donegan. Over to Duran, back to Slobo. Up to Duran, up to Donegan at the red line, back to Slobo. As the Stars are putting some pressure on, and Slobo picked the ball up. And that's illegal procedure because the Storm carried the ball back in. They rule into the into their own end. And uh, when they do that, the goalie cannot pick the ball up. He's got to play it with his feet. So Slobo has made a few mistakes tonight in that regard. Kicked it over three lines a couple of times. Free kick top of the arc. Milano gives it right side. Carpin ran onto it and kicked it way up into the crowd. Milano fed it. If you shoot it wide, yeah. you can create some things. Goal kick for the Storm. Duran plays it back to Slobo. Slobo up to the top of the penalty area. Slobo then throws it down the left side for Donegan, but coming over is Greg Ian, and he intercepts as he anticipated that, slow, that throw from Slobo. On the left side, Redwanski into the St. Louis end. His shot, Slobo makes the save. Rebound comes to the top of the box, and Donegan heads it back to the red line, but couldn't get it out. To Redwanski, he tried to one-time it. Fredrickson blocked that. Fredrickson blocked another one. Now the ball comes to the earboards. Redwanski comes in and... <laughs> Redwanski's a madman. He was in there really throwing his weight around and I thought got away with a couple of fouls and, but kept that attack alive for Tacoma Stars. Now he's playing like a man possessed here. David Eyes has the ball for the Storm just outside his own red line. Kicks it down to the right corner. Guess who's there? Redwanski heads it out. Precky heads it back in with a great header to Thompson. You see it in alone. Thompson turns, shoots, but Carroll makes the save. That was a great head ball from Precky to Thompson. You see, and the ball got a little too deep in the corner for Tomo, but he got it on goal. Here's Precky at the midfield line being... Marked up tightly, gives the ball to David Eyes. Eyes again tries to kick it down to Thompson, you see him, but Ralph Black was standing in front of Thompson, and he intercepted it. Up to Greg Ian. Ian leaves it there for the storm, and here's a, for, here's a shot by, I'm trying to pick it's up Ian. the number. Ian. Greg Ian. Ian. Ian carried the ball from midfield to the red line. I kind of blew that one, could not pick him up, and he buried it in the upper corner, and Tacoma with two quick goals here early in the fourth quarter. They've taken a 7-6 lead. And Kia with the assist. He and Ion knock the ball back and forth between each other. Kia makes a nice, really, decoy run. Drew a couple of defenders. Ion steps in, and he was barely over the Storm's red line when he cracked that ball into the upper corner. And that bigger goal is what made the difference there because that ball was way up in the upper corner. Slobo just couldn't reach that far. That's off the crossbar last year. Yep. Or even off plexiglass. That was way up there in the upper corner. So the Storm finds themselves down now as they've given up two goals here in the fourth quarter. Eyes kicks it down to Terry Brown. Brown down there with Ristic. Ristic wins the ball off the backboards, turns, wheel tries to kick it out, but kicks it out of play. So Storm will have a kick in on the far side. they got to get things going now. Two successive goals from Greg Ion, who played in Kansas City last year, doing very well here with the Tacoma Stars. They were down by one. He scores two. They're up by one. 11-03 left in regulation. Tacoma's taking a 7-6 lead. Another high-scoring affair here at the arena. It's Precky at the red line. Precky trying to get around McCormick. Precky gives it to David Eyes. He runs onto it, hammers it, and Milano blocked that shot. Milano wheels and kicks it back down the floor. Slobo way up over the red line, playing the ball, chips it across the floor to Fernando Clavillo. Heel down there with pressure on Slobo, and Slobo played the ball well. Here's Eyes down the near boards and a foul is called against Thompson as he pushed Bobo Lusik from behind. So the Storm will have a free kick in front of their bench. You know, Ron, nobody likes to be losing, but uh, from what we've seen of the Storm, 
you'd almost rather see them behind at this time of the game than trying to protect one of those leads that they've had problems doing. Here's McCarrow out of the out of the penalty area, kicks it to midfield to Steve Kinsey. Kinsey has it there, goes across the floor to Freddie Thompson. Thompson with Precky, marking him up. Precky running back and forth, trying to cut down a pass. Up to Kinsey, give and go to Ristic. Ristic into the St. Louis zone. And to Milano, he turns, shoots. And right on the line, it appeared that Bobo Lusick headed it off right on the goal line. Bobo back on defense. Long volley into the St. Louis end. Slobo jumps up over the top of Kinsey. Kinsey backing up into him. And a foul called against Kinsey. Over to David Eyes with 10 minutes remaining in regulation. Storm down by a goal now. It's Eyes off the four boards for Dragicevic. Emil Dragicevic plays it back to Eyes off the boards. David has to go back, kicks it across the floor for Duran. Duran one times up the near side for Precky. Precky hit hard against the boards by Freddie Thompson. He's picked up a couple of quick fouls here. Precky gets up slowly and walks into the St. Louis bench. Precky is hurting a little bit. He is hurting as Jerry Schlemmer comes over to attend to him. Thompson took him into the boards hard. Now here's Duran inside the midfield line to Schmetzer down to the corner for Donigan. Donigan was pushed by Thompson again. That time no whistle. Loose ball at the red line. Squirts loose. Comes all the way down the near boards and Brian Schmetzer has it for the storm. Kicks it across the floor for Dragicevic. Doctor is also down there working on Perky it appears or attending to him. Almeal out of his own zone. His release pass is knocked down. Gets it right back though. Fortunately for him his pass hit Carpenter and came right back to him. Now Slobo. Rolls it ahead to Durand with 9-12 left in the regulation. Darrell kicks it down the right side for Dragicevic. And coming back to kick it away was Carpin, and he kicked it up over the top. So it'll be a corner kick for the Storm. I can't see. Oh, Perky's back out there. Huh? Yeah. Joe Waters, one of the defenders, in fact, a, a player assistant coach for the Tacoma Stars, has not played. For most of this second half, he now has a sweat top on, so I don't know if he, he was injured or if it was a coaching decision, but he's one of their more experienced defenders. Corner kick coming up for the Storm. Duran will take it. Precky is off to his left. Gives it to Precky. Precky right side of the box back to Duran. Harp in there, knocked it away. That was not played particularly well. No, it wasn't Precky. Excuse me, it was Bobo Lusick down there. Precky was back at the red line, excuse me. Now Lusick gets the ball from Emil Dragicevic and makes a steal. Over to Precky. Precky, right corner at the red line. Double team, gives it off to Duran. Duran runs onto it, fires off the end boards. Rebound comes to Carpenter at the top of the box. He volleys it out, but Spencer hammers it right back into the corner. Black there, though, and protects the ball as it rolls around the boards to Chris Vaccaro. Vaccaro, top of the penalty area, throws it to midfield to Kia. Kia deflects it to nobody. Precky picks it up. Precky over to Fernando Clavillo. Clavillo sprints to the red line inside the Tacoma zone. And a hard shot by Fernando Clavillo. Deflects wide. Milano has the rebound as the loose ball to the red line for Tacoma. Comes, runs away from Thompson, you see, and runs away from Claudio De Oliveira, but has to feed the ball back to his own red line to Redwanski. Back to Vaccaro. Up to head to Ralph Black. Black and Schmetzer collide, and a foul is going to be called on Brian Schmetzer as he and Black got shoulder to shoulder. Well, the pace of this game is heated up again, and you're seeing the more physical play there as, as Black and Schmetzer just tussling and fighting Neither team trying to give up anything. A lot of time left, but time is not on the Storm side with eight minutes left. Here's a loose ball on the left side, picked up by Crook in the St. Louis zone. Crook with Spetzer on him, gets around Spetzer, tried to pass the heel along the boards, and Thompson, you seen, was there to knock it away. Ball is back to midfield. Willie Milano plays it off the boards for Vaccaro. He's off the mark in the corner. Precky down there. Vaccaro plays it off the boards, and Milano was right there to pick it up as Thompson, you see, and putting pressure on. Now Tacoma kicks it into the St. Louis end. Ristic there, Slobo off the line. Oh, a shot from the red line. Slobo was off the line, out of the goal, and Clavillo was back there. Fortunately, the shot went wide. So there's a timeout. It's a good defensive team. Can't waste too much time in terms of tying it, but they can't gamble too much time and give up another one. Here is Ian off the restart. Down in the corner to Gary Heal. He's marked by Duran. Heal kicks it back to midfield. Volleyed right back in by Ristic, but headed down by Fredericks and Iceland to Donegan. Donegan tries to volley it over the head of Ristic and does. Donegan fighting for it. Ristic comes back to get it. Fredrickson comes over to try to double team, but Nicky Ristic still has it. Ristic across the floor. Here is a good ball down to Kia. Kia in the St. Louis zone. Kia down low, tries to shoot. Fredrickson with a sliding tackle and a block and a handball then called on Kia as Freddie tackled the ball. And the ball popped up and hit Kia on the arm. And Fredrickson came from a long way to come over and close Kia down. That's the kind of work that we've come to expect from Mark Fredrickson. 
Here's Duran approaching the red line. Gives it down to Thompson. You see him kicked away from him. Back to midfield. Terry Brown, though, back to recover the loose ball. Brown down into the St. Louis zone. He had Thompson in. Thompson, you see it in deep. Ball never got through. Ball at midfield. Eyes has it. Redwanski has it. Redwanski and Eyes go to the boards, fighting for it. And Redwanski wins it. Redwanski and Brown fight for the ball. Redwanski still has it. Now gets it back. Boy, he's a tornado out there. Here is Freddie Thompson kicking it down into the St. Louis end, right to the goal mouth, and Slobo grabs it, throws it immediately up the right side for David Eyes. Eyes has some space, sprints across the midfield line, gives it to Dragicevitz in the corner. Brecky is back off the bench. Emil Dragicevitz in the corner, trying to break it loose. Loose ball to the side of the box. Brecky runs onto it, tries to shoot, and he collided with a man just as he went to shoot. Collided with Carpent just as he went to sh pull the trigger. Well, you could hurt yourself that way, yes, too. He can. wound up and he followed through, even though the shot was blocked right off of his foot. Slobo up over the red line, kicks it down to the right corner for Precky. Precky looking for the hat trick. Precky still has it. Precky top of the arc, turn, shoots, a hit carpet. Ball goes right back to Eyes. Eyes has it just near the red line to Boba Lusik. Lusik dances one side, then the other. Fakes a shot, doesn't shoot. Gives it to Precky at the red line. Precky with, he's double teamed. Three men on him. Precky. Gives it to David Eyes, fires and shoots it way wide. Rebound comes to Precky, and his rebound shot hit Carpenter, went over the glass on a play. That'll be a kick in for the star. They have three guys around Precky. Precky just barely over the Tacoma red line. They line up also in support of each other, and they're staggered a bit because they're also splitting the difference, trying to keep an eye on, on their men as well as giving help to the man who's matched up with Precky. So, when Frecky does then lay off the pass, they split off and try and pressure, but uh, they're not going to take any chances and let him get anywhere near the goal without at least double coverage. That sequence took almost two minutes. We're down to 5.34. Frecky with the ball off the restart. Bobo Lusik hammers it off the end boards. Frecky with a rebound down low. Could not get the shot off. Ball comes back to Lusik. Gives on the right side to David Eyes. Lusik overlaps on the right side. Eyes now gives it off to Fernando Clavillo. Back to Eyes, 20 feet from the red line with 5.17 left. Bobo Lusik right side. Bobo to Eyes in the middle of the floor. Eyes near the red line, down low for Precky. Precky has it knocked away from him, kicked back to midfield. Eyes goes back to recover and heads it down the floor for Slobo. Slobo plays it with his foot, comes up to the red line, kicks it to Dragicevic, right wing boards. He's got Carpet on him. Carpet knocked the ball away. Emil hit it again. Ion hit it off the boards, comes to Eyes. Eyes squares the ball for Bobo Lusik. Lusik. Tries to dance around a player. Still has it to the red line. Bobo Lusik with good skills, good foot skills. Here's a header by Jurgisovic as he just flicked it off the top of his head but didn't have anything on it. Went to Vaccaro. Vaccaro throws it up the left side. Here comes the Tacoma Stars off to Kia. Kia crosses the ball left side. Shot! Oh, goes through the goal mouth. May have deflected off of somebody in the goal mouth. And here is Thompson, you see, in picking it up. Gives it down. Poor to Precky, Precky deep in the zone, Precky down low, tries a shot, it's blocked, tried to cross it actually, to Claudio de Oliveira, who's on the right side, and now Precky winds up on his back with Ralph Black on top of him. Precky was not shooting from that angle, here's the restart, Claudio de Oliveira, wow. hit the goal post, hit Vaccaro, or hit Vaccaro and then the goal post in that order, off a quick restart as Tacoma was caught napping a little bit. And that could have just as easily popped in behind Vaccaro as popped away from the goal, which is what it did. It came that close. Oh, that was close. Hit Vaccaro on the shoulder, hit the hit the upright, hit the post, and then deflected out. Top you see it plays it off the boards to himself. Then he was knocked out of the far side by Crook. So it'll be a free kick for the star in the Tacoma end, and Perky's on the floor all the time. Now. Crook very obviously stepping in front of Tomo Yusin on that play in the first quarter. That was a two-minute penalty. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. You're exactly right. Here is this restart. Perky has it right side, inside the red line. Perky with McCormick watching him. Perky cuts it to the middle, gives it to Claudio. Claudio can't shoot as he's covered. Back to Duran in the middle of the floor. Now to Spencer. Spencer kicks it into the right corner for Thompson. You see it. Thompson tries to juggle it off his head a couple of times. And a foul is called. A handball. Handball called against Thompson. You see it. A Tobo just standing there with hands on his hips. Doesn't believe the call. I didn't see him hit his hand. It ball no, he was on juggled, his head. Yeah, he juggled it with his head. It hit his chest. It was, it was up in the air, but I didn't see it hit his hand. 3.33. We're down to only three and a half minutes left in the regulation. When will the Storm go with the sixth attacker? Will they go with the sixth attacker? Here's Duran trying to steal the ball from Gary Heal. Juggles it three times, four times with his foot, then kicks it back to Mark Fredrickson. Great work there by Duran. Back to Slobo. 
to Duran. Duran at his own red line with Carpet on him. 3-12 left in regulation. Duran kicks it to the Saint, to the Tacoma red line. Freddie Thompson kicks it out. Comes to Milano. Milano on the far side. Thompson, you see, it knocks it off his foot. Perky going for it and has kicked up, hit the top of the plexiglass. Played by Terry Brown, but back into his own end. Back to Slobo. Under three minutes left in regulation. Slobo kicks it up. Milano heads it down. Not a very good ball by Slobo. Willie Milano has it. Midfield. Gives it right side for Rustic at the St. Louis red line. He's got Kinsey running in the right wing boards. Rustic at the top of the arc. Almost knocked down by Duran, but gets it back to Kia. Back to Thompson. Left side. Milano. Milano kicks it across the floor for Kia. Kia heads it to the red line. Duran has it there, settles it. Ristic takes it away from him. Kicks it into the St. Louis zone. But Precky has it now. Precky along the board. Tried to jam it through. Precky was fouled with 2.24 left in regulation. Precky has not been off the field in the last five minutes. And, and it's starting to show a little bit. Daryl Duran had the ball. And Precky just pointed to send it up there to Thompson because he was too tired, really, to, to want the ball. Here's Fernando Covillo down to Thompson. You see him ball off the end boards by Tomo. Nobody at the top of the restraining arc there to receive it. Kia has it near the St. Louis bench. Double team plays it off the boards. Back into his own end. Thompson, you see it knocked away the clearing pass. Tomo along the end boards. Oh, he got it into the goal mouth, but nobody could get to it. Now Fredrickson knocks down the release pass at midfield, but Kinsey has it on the far side. Less than two minutes left. Brecky is really sucking air out there. He's really tired. He's been on the floor for almost six minutes. Here's Freddie Thompson. Down deep in the zone, cross. It's knocked out of there by Fredrickson. Fred, and back to Slobo. Slobo throws weakly up the right side for Precky. Precky with Milano on him. Precky into the zone, off the end boards. Precky tried to hit it as Vaccaro came off the line, and it just bounced over his head. Clearing pass intercepted by Duran. 1.30 left in regulation. Fernando Clavillo is putting on the sixth attacker shirt. Here's David Eyes at the red line. To Duran. Duran squares it right side for Bobo Lusik. Bobo Lusik to the red line. Middle of the floor to Duran. Duran shoots off the end boards, goes for the rebound, but it, it's volleyed back to midfield by Bobo Lusik. Lusik has it there. Sixth attacker, Slobo out. Fernando Covillo is the sixth attacker to Precky at the red line. 105 left in the regulation. Bobo Lusik down low for Duran. He scores! Duran right in the goal mouth from Emil Dragicevic, and the game is tied. Two of the Tacoma players are laying flat on their backs on the floor in frustration. The storm is tied it with 61 seconds left on a goal from the captain, Daryl Duran. And Vaccaro did get his hand on that ball, but Duran had enough on it to still get it past him. St. Louis Storm tie goal, his fourth goal of the year. Number seven, Daryl Duran. Assisted by number 16, Emil Dravigasabed. So Duran ties it with a minute and one second left in the game. Now the loose ball, Carpen has it, lost it. Dragicevic picks it up to the red line. He's got Lusik with him, three on two. Right side, Bobo Lusik. Oh, he had Donigan right in front of the ball. Went past Donigan. He's turned an ankle. Donigan is rolling around in the goal. He is injured. Donigan twisted an ankle the other way. Here's a shot and a goal. They score. They score. It is Greg Ian getting the goal. Ian getting the goal. The Storm had a man, Dan Donigan, injured in the goal mouth. And they played on, and Greg Ion has the hat trick. He scores again. All three goals coming here in the second half of play. He hit it over the top of Slobo with 35 seconds left. Well, that's what happens. The Storm had a three-on-one break the other way. When you don't convert, many times you end up paying the price at the other end because the players on the opposition team who weren't back to defend now have a strong counterattack going the other way. We'll be back with the last 35 seconds after this. This is St. Louis Storm Soccer. They should have stopped play yeah. because he was injured. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. Brecky has the ball. Fernando Covillo is the sixth attacker. 
Lavio hammers it down into the corner. Hit the referee. Down to the corner it goes along the end boards. A scramble. Duran down there. Ralph Black down there. Jadie Smith has it. Carpin picks it up. Comes back to Clavillo with 20 seconds left. Off to Precky at the red line. Precky with a shot. And that hit one of the Tacoma players. And here's a long shot down the floor. It's going to be wide, but there's only 10 seconds left. And this one is virtually over. Fernando Clavillo plays it off the boards. And here is a shot. Empty net goal. They're going to get another one. No, Clavillo comes back and makes the save. But there's only one second left, and this game is over. And Tacoma with a